I'm on, I'm on Sean with this one. I don't think that you can just say blueberry three four six and some nigga start stabbing people in forty seconds, right? Yeah. But what I do believe that. I, I, Welcome, welcome back to the fucking mind's eye. Yeah, we're back, we're back, and we have Bryant here on deck. How the fuck are you doing, bro? Let's fucking do it. I'm doing Bryant, great. Doing great. Doing great. Doing doing great. Damn, my whole government shit. Yeah. <laughs> what happened with the government? <laughs> fucking Bryant Acevedo in oh, here. Oh no, That's come on. Yeah. I gotta do that. Well, I gotta do Let's that. Let's go. On. Yeah, bro. bro. Santiago Nunes, Sean Paul, Joshua, Josh Anthony Rodriguez. Rodriguez. You know that. You Everybody's guys are getting it out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, but facts, we here, live in the flesh We're here, bro How you been doing this last couple of years, though, bro? I haven't seen you since we left high school Yeah, bro, that was a long time ago That was a really long time ago What <laughs> yeah, you been up to, bro? It's been a fucking while I've been up quite to a couple things, I ain't even gonna lie I know you tried to start a podcast, too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I definitely did That didn't go as I wanted to, but you feel me? Shit happens and You Josh are talking about it I heard some good things came yeah, out of bro. it, though, bro Nah, for sure, you feel me? I feel like there's always a lesson to learn from everything Yeah, yeah so so that's, you feel me? That was like a personal journey. And as I was telling him, let's, I feel like I'm going to get right into it. But how I said, as I was telling him, that was more of a self-journey relaxation of knowing that I can't help everybody. And some people mm. just got to help themselves. You feel me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. I went through that yeah, past. That's, that's, that's beautiful, bro. I heard a quote. It was like, you can't, if you break a cocoon for a butterfly, it will never fly. Because it needs the strength to fly it needs the strength from breaking the cocoon yeah. in order to fly exactly and basically saying you you can't help everybody you know people need to grow for themselves it's so crazy now that you said that josh has also said a quote earlier he, um you could say that you feel me after, yeah but um what what did i say earlier <laughs> no no take actually this, take this time to recollect your memories yeah give me, give me right, while, yeah. while you think on that i'm gonna <laughs> speak on how it's hard for people to i feel like it's hard for people to be themselves because people get so caught up in other people's identity you feel me? Because you become the Whoa. content, you become the content you consume, but you also become the people you hang around. So I feel like that's heavily influencing who people become. And sometimes people don't know how to take the time to themselves to be able to find out who they are. Yeah, like the phrase, uh, you become like the, the five most closest people that you hang out with. You exactly. Be- you become those people. Yeah. And, that, and that shit is real. As much as people want to deny, because some people will sit out and that ass deny that shit to your face. And it's like, yo, come on. Come like, on, bro. That's, yeah. It's yeah. just reality, It's bro. a natural thing, too. Some people just don't know how to be themselves, though. Like, what do you bring to a group of people? And that takes like a while to actually digest and consume. I didn't know what the fuck yeah, I was well, doing. Yeah. I guess 17, 18. <laughs> yeah right that's I mean crazy. dude I was just lost in smoking weed that's, that's, yeah, what that's I pretty much all days. we were doing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were smoking weed every day right? yeah. I was smoking weed every single, dude I would wake up day. You know, I live right down the block from the school. I would wake up. Yeah, you right? was fucking lit. Right, I would wake up <laughs> at eight in the morning. You know, school starts we had at nine. The whole traveling right, <laughs> well, we would wake up at eight in the morning. I would call this guy up to go smoke and then come in like an hour late. For every fucking class, we used to come in yeah. like seven period just because we just needed high as fuck, to smoke. Like, we needed it. <laughs> in fucking Doctor Chain's class when he's explaining like oh, fucking man. all types of physical theory and shit. Yo, we mentioned <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Chain a lot. Really made him cry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. 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 I, I forgot, forgot about that. that. Dude, dude, bro, were we bro. all in that fucking class? We probably or did we were. Cry bro. multiple so, times. Doctor yeah. Chang was our, our Maybe physics was teacher, bro. He was a really like yeah. he was a nice dude, but he was kind of a, a little bit. He was one of those teachers. Like he was a little uptight. That's what it was. Nah, bro. We were talking about last time. He was cool, but he was we were, we were talking about last time how there are some teachers who know how to teach, and that nigga knew how to teach. Nah, he, he did. He was a good did, teacher. Like that dude, that dude, if it wasn't for him, I would have never graduated, bro. I was failing his class. I was in the principal's office from 9 o'clock in the morning on graduation day, finishing an honor f- honors physics pack. Not just that, bro. I'm not you know lie, why, though? gave mad people mad chances. You know bro. why, though? Bro, what's it called? He didn't have to do that for me. He literally... I was the only student that had to take that packet in order to pass. Yeah. And he m- handmade that whole packet from the whole semester just so I could graduate. He didn't have to do that. That's why I say he was one of those teachers that poured his soul into this job. Like, that dude is a great teacher. Yo, Mark, 
Come on the show, nigga. Yeah. Mark Chang. Mark, Mark, Mark Chang. I would come on. legitimately love some. That's a good That's just that, bro. Talk about people, some physics topics. People seem to forget he's the only teacher in that school who had the title doctor. He was a doctor. Dude, was I, would get doctor a, I would get offended when people say Mr. Chang. It's like, yo, that nigga went through eight, nine years to get that title. You better exactly. respect that shit. He came and here they would to laugh. teach people of that They would laugh when I would say that. that. Was, but man. I was dead ass. Like, he's a doctor, nigga. Yeah. He don't have to be teaching your bitch ass. Yeah. Bro, this facts. But it's great. For real. I'm gonna I'm keep it real though. There was a couple great professors in there. I'm not. I'm there not was. Yeah. I like, I like Klasky. I like, I like Mr. Child. Klasky. Mr. Child too. Fred. We were talking about Fred. Fred was the real one. You feel me? He did. I held it down for me. You That's feel facts. me? Along with other. Was he your advisor? Nah, he was in my. Oh, advisor. I thought he was. In I had advisor. Mr. Regan for my advisor, so you know I heard that. I okay, I and all right. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> extra I, time. I, I, yeah. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Ms. Retorto. Yeah, I forgot. Yes, yeah, Retorto. Yeah. I did, yeah. I did, I yeah. Did, I he had the gym advisor. teacher as your advisor. You, no, no, <laughs> Brian. I was in your advisor. We're the same advisor. Yeah, we're the same advisor. No way. You guys were in the computer lab, right? Um, I think we were by it. We were, we in, were, we were in for a little. We were next to the science one. class. Um, yeah, I, I know. I know what you're talking about. It was right some, there, some like blank lab. Class. You yeah, remember Miss uh, Miss Rotella used to teach yeah, intro to physics yeah, for yeah. the sophomores and freshmen. Yeah, the room next exactly. to that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Miss Gla- Gladovich. Wait, that's the experiment room. We never went in there. Yeah, that that was the abandoned room. Yeah, the abandoned room. No, that was that was the ESL room. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. English, like, oh, you're language. right, you're right. I remember yeah. that. Okay, yeah, yeah. I used to think it was for the retarded. Shit, bro. This is the Mind's Eye podcast. This is the Mind's Eye podcast. This is the type of comedy we have on here, guys. It's a guys. Joke. This is dark, but light enough. Let me put my chair up. We don't, we don't actually feel that way towards you. Towards you guys are making me feel my height. I got to put my chair up. Ah, shit. You have to put it up enough so that your heels touch the floor. Hey, hey, hey. I'm tippy toeing right now. Let me see your heels. Touch the floor. <laughs> I can't, dude. Don't, Sean. Now I gotta put it low for our yeah, fucking viewers, right, man. Right, right, right. They gotta see I mean, you, you can keep it there. We can cut. <laughs> it's fucking we're about stupid. the same. Now, right? Let's cut, let's uh, cut now that, that we're set up, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Nah, Dr. Chang though. Yeah, he was the only person out there who had a fucking doctor's degree. They have it in schools that they they, had, they require or not require, but they invite people who are like higher up in teaching to come and teach like you know our kind of school, mm-hmm. like our lower, kind of school, <laughs> lower income, kind of, like struggling schools. So he was the only person. I'd love to have him on the show to talk about some physics topics. Definitely, I think he. I think he'll have some crazy shit to say. Oh, against yeah, what absolutely. we say about some metaphysics and some shit. metaphysical shit because we bring crazy. the spiritual topics in yeah f- metaphysics is that is a real thing people seem to forget that metaphysical thing is the study of what there is beyond f- physical matter yeah well you know the definition when you look up metaphysics it's like a oh like it's not really believed and it's not like real yeah. pseudoscience it's like, it's or like whatever pseudo that's science. exactly that's the word yeah <laughs> pseudoscience you, know su- Yo, you ever heard of scientology yes i have the church of scientology science is like a religion they're like a cult Mm-hmm. Where yeah. science is a religion. It was actually invented by Aleister Crowley. That sounds a known crazy, but it Satanist. sounds fire. Hey, well, Wait, actually, it was a known Satanist. Yes, bro. He no was, wonder Tom he was, Cruise he was, was a part so, of that shit. He was so ruthless. Nah, he was. A, he was so ruthless that not even the Freemasons fucked with that. Nigga. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I just wanted to point out, just because I don't know anything about this situation. Yeah, um, I don't either. But Ethan Hernandez from the last episode, he yeah. did comment. He wanted an input. He said that Aleister Crowley wasn't as bad as everybody thinks. Not that, I don't know what he did. He probably did some fucked up shit. He did some crazy shit. But his motive behind that was kind of different than what people portray him Yeah, as. well, his motive was for Satan. That dude yeah, is a bro. known Satanist. Yeah, he's like, a known Satanist. <laughs> what? So he was saying to me, Ethan was saying, um, and this isn't me justifying. This is just me pointing out. Right, right. No, yeah, we need yeah, to hear yeah, this other side. Cause, yeah, because we need. Yeah, we just need to hear both sides. But he was saying how some Satanists, not all, of course. There's some probably fucking horrible Satanists, but some Satanists do believe that through the path of like suffering or through uh, certain extents people can come to realize, you know, like just like a religious sense. Like it's not just about like, oh, let me kill people and like how people usually think and sacrificial and whatnot. Yeah, he actually had a book on how to sacrifice people. Did he now? Yes, he did. So he probably he, fucking and did. he would tell you know. how to do it, bro, when to f- do it. That motherfucker was crazy, Dude, bro. the Freemasons didn't want to fuck with him. Yeah, and they're if all the about that. the Freemasons tell you, you're, all right, you're taking it too far. 
bro then with there's the something wrong with you the, bro there's something, there's something wrong, wrong with you bro you people th- so? people thought that he was like the uh, lucifer reincarnated he he believed himself to be the devil reincarnated that's what he would call himself oh, he let his ego get to him yeah he did yeah and you he, guys gotta fill us in on the details because i don't think we know anything about that yeah, yeah. I don't, okay I don't know so about that, i just know bro. he was a fucking sick i'm gonna give a little brief man, man. a little brief history on freemasonry freemasonry is uh basically a fraternity are the, the guys That's of fraternity, guys, right? right. Okay. But within the ends of Freemasonry, there's a group that there's they have a secret religion. Their secret religion is Luciferianism, which is basically the worship of Lucifer. Okay. And bad energy. They know they basically are spiritual people, but they know how to use the other side of it to against okay. people. Mm-hmm. So that's what they do. And they've been around for forever. There, there's symbols everywhere. You ever seen the symbol? Actually, keep They're mentioned it up. in the Bible. Yeah, yeah the, the Freemasonry symbol. They actually are mentioned in the Bible as well. It's pretty crazy. It's a. You see that, that symbol right everywhere. there? The square and compass. The square and compass. That's the Freemason symbol. Also on the back of the dollar. You see that dollar sign right there? Go to that dollar. If you draw, what type of star in it is oh. it called, bro? Pentagram. If you if you draw yeah, a pe- if you I draw if you draw a pentagram on that, the word will come out Mason on top of that dollar. Well, at each point, right? Yeah, each each point, point would point to a certain letter on that on there, and it would spell out Mason. Yeah. I don't know what to fucking think of that. Isn't That's that crazy? Kind of this shit. This shit. Reminds anybody me got a dollar on them right now? I got a dollar. Yeah, let me draw this shit out for you right now because we gotta test that shit yeah, out. Right here. So you set up. Uh, uh, you have to draw the the pentagram star and make sure each point hits a letter. It's fucking crazy, bro. Yo, Nigga said, I don't know what bill it was. I don't know if it was the 20 or the 100 bills, but uh-huh. it was the old bills. Was but do y'all remember that at one point, if you folded it a certain way, would yeah. it like an explosion type shit? Yeah, it was that an explosion. Was crazy, it was exactly the $20 bro. bill. The 20, $20 yeah. Bill. yeah. I don't know how to draw the star. Give me. Yo. I got you right now. <laughs> I got you right now. Let me get that. Oh, look. Sean is doing it right there. Look. I don't know. Am I doing it right? Yeah, yeah. Boom. All right. Upside down. Upside now draw the triangle upside down. The fuck there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. But where does it go? Where is it? M. M. Go ahead. A S. No way. Oh, wait. M A S. O. Is there an N? Oh shit. He's flipping it around. Oh look at that. He, he knows like, that he's computers and shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> hey, this is oh, fucking Sam. It. Look at that. So like, if we were to do it, it would go like this. <laughs> I, I think Yeah We get the point Yeah that, that's I think, I think, I think, I think yeah. We get yeah. the point We probably got it yeah. Yeah. We get the point we get the point Not we, just that I want to show you One more thing on the dollar bro. If you guys didn't know If you increase the contrast Of the dollar Look what pops up bro This shit is insane bro It's Sully Look at that you won't have to put that for the viewers. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. trippy But is it just folded? What is it? No, uh, that's, the, it? that's the That's the That's the The seal and if you increase the contrast, it looks like a fucking alien. Nah. It looks like an actual gray. Yeah. Y'all seen that shit? Yo. That shit yeah, bro. crazy. Let me see this. Let me see yeah, this bro. nonsense. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, so what are you supposed to do? Increase the contrast. Where is that? Right here? Nigga, that's the seal oh, right there. The seal with yo, the bro, eagle. And it has yo, a take a picture of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we could do that on our phone. There's so many hidden things in the dollar, yeah. bro. So anyways, yeah, the government is hiding like a lot of things in plain it's sight. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Plain Let sight is the best the way to hide, the though. Yeah, money is the root of all evil. I, don't I really agree see with that. It. I don't really see it without the contrast thing, though. That's because it's not contrasted up. Where's <laughs> the fucking contrast? <laughs> you gotta nah, do it in Photoshop. Bills, still these bills have though. some crazy shit, though, behind it. Like. Yeah, bro, they got an owl right here. Got yeah, the the OVO owl, you know the Illuminati I'm owl, Sipper, um, su- um, symbolizing um, wisdom and shit. But you know, I don't know. I don't believe in a lot. like right, when I see that stuff. I'm kind of just like it, it doesn't. Prove, I don't know. Symbols, like, rule, symbols rule the world. Yeah, for sure. But like, what is it like? I don't know. Like, what does it prove? Symbols hold power. Mm-hmm. Like back then in like ancient cultures and stuff, they had they drew symbols and hieroglyphics and shit. Symbols yeah. hold power. Mm-hmm. And if you ever tripped off shrooms or something, I don't know about you guys, but you be yeah. seeing some fucking symbols. I nigga. definitely do. Like that's a whole different reality. Yeah, it's a whole right different there. thing. You see the symbols. Why is that? I'm not looking at symbols all the yeah. time, or maybe I am, and I just don't know. Well, if you it. think about Sean, it, you've been on one, right? I've been on a shroom trip. Yeah. How and was how, some... how was that for you? Because we were speaking it, off camera, but I want to hear about your. Trip. Oh, that's what you guys are talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's kind of so hard to put into words. Um, but I did. Best way possible, whatever you can come to mind, type shit. 
best way possible is the inner energy forces that exist beyond this dimension. Like there, there, there are realms that we can't possibly exist in things that we can't comprehend unless we, we ingest them, unless we like put ourselves in that state. And it's freaky as fuck. Like people think like, I want to know everything about this world. I was that person. I was like, I want to know everything about this world. I want to know the highest orders, how the, the inner workings of the world works. And it, it makes you humble. It mm-hmm. fucking humbles ah, you. There it, is. it puts you in your fucking place and it tells yeah. you like, yeah, you want to be there, but what you really love, you really love being down here. And that's something that I'm trying to understand more. I'm like, okay, what is it about this place here on this dimensional world that we have to execute? Is there some sort of function that we have to execute? Is there mm-hmm. this meaning? Because up there, yeah, that shit is crazy. Yeah, that seems like a, a, a next step level area. But right here, we have a purpose here. Yes. Something that we have to fulfill because we love it here. Check this out. I seen a video and actually oh, like no. not a video but a podcast talking about our DMT aliens real. You guys wait, heard wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I want to continue yeah, yeah. going on his I was gonna, before yeah. before you interject. You feel me? Because I want to go deep into this. So like, as as far as spiritual and the identity that you upheld before the shroom strip, how you feel like that changed you? I was just I wanted to be more. Like I wanted to be more than what I was, like I always felt like I was lacking what was within. And after that- Did you find the answers and the clarity to that? It showed me that everything you have and everything that you possibly ever need is always within you. Yeah. I don't think I it, like anybody I don't think that. it necessarily gives you answers, but it definitely gives it you the you right you questions to ask yourself. Cause there's, you can ask yourself a certain question and it might be the, it might not be the right question for you. Right? Uh, you're looking for this answer, but it's not the right question. And it gives you these questions and you ask yourself this. You, if you I look, defer in a way, but I'm going to let you If you finish. think about this, when you're tripping, you're just in your head, OD, and you're yeah. talking to yourself in your mm-hmm. head. And that's how you come to terms that's, with all of this, right? And you're asking yourself questions and you're getting the answers yourself because it's the shrooms is giving you the correct questions and you're your consciousness itself downloads those answers. Yeah, but the thing is that those questions was always there. You was just that's what I'm saying. Ask them. You feel me? But that's what I'm saying. Like, it mm-hmm. also comes back to mm-hmm. you find the answers that you're seeking because the whole time what Shrooms really does, it, it brings you into this reality that, you know, you've been hindering on. No, yeah, that's, that's what I was... In the back yo, that's, what I was that's, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. We completely agreed. I was saying that it doesn't give you the answer. Like, it doesn't tell you, oh... You need to stop this. You need to stop smoking this, this, and that, right? It'll tell you, it'll make you think like, why do I smoke? What is, what, why do I smoke every day? What is, what is, like, what's going on with me? And you start thinking and then you find the answer, just like how you said. That's what I love so much about shrooms. Yeah, bro. I feel like, I feel like it makes you remember more than like, uh, like finding, you know what I mean? Remember. Just remember. Well, no, but that was kind of like nice. But I wanna energize, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk about that too because I like ahead, how you bring ahead, it up. Because that's all, no, that's something that I realized too. But um, no, I was saying just to go off of Santiago was saying it kind of like to me I visualize it like, like you said it, it it makes you go into the things that you've been hindering that you've been putting off. Yeah, it's like it, for me it felt like it dropped me into like a very dense rainforest and I was like yo fuck yeah, where do I need wow. to go I'm placed Fire, here that's like. Perfect. I'm just surrounded by all this foliage, all these plants. That was your that I first trip, up. though, if you don't mind me asking. No, that was my second trip. The second first trip, trip I took okay. like a mid, like low dose. I had oh, some like visuals. Okay, okay, that was like okay. mild, but yeah, that one it was like I had to cut my way out, and then cutting your way out, like you build the strength. Yeah, you hey, sculpt yeah. yourself. Yeah. Right. yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk down in any way the experience or encourage for you to do it again. But what I would say is after you go through multiple more trips as well, it because that's where you start the first time you take it. Just how you said, that's where you start because it's like putting yourself in a hole that you don't even know what you're stepping into. Yeah. But the minute that you carve your path and you understand what you, what you're doing and who you are, I feel like it becomes a whole different experience. And, and that's why I came back to. You come back to what you've been hindering on, and we was me and Josh was having a conversation off, off camera, and it was about you start to think and reflect on your past traumas going into mm-hmm. a shroom strip, mm-hmm. and everything you've been like either hiding or thinking about or too afraid to ask yourself. It's gonna you you bang come yeah, right you in come, your face. You come to face that, and it's like yo, all your demons, everything you've been battling with, you're gonna have to handle that. You feel yep. me? And that's the fire part about it because you become a different person once you handle mm-hmm. that. You, be, you when you come out of the experience, like it still digests. But there, especially when you said that, um, yeah, that one thing that I was holding off. I I had never 
Well, I, I propagated a lie when I was young to hide from a very dark secret. Mm -hmm. I, I told everybody that I knew that my father died. Damn. And I kept that lie up for years. Mm -hmm. All the way until high school. Like, I never told anybody in high school because I was like, new, fresh start shit. Right. I told my best friends, though. And then during that shroom trip, I was like, yo, like, I don't care anymore. Yeah. yeah. I was so mm -hmm. afraid to have people come to my house because I was like, yo, if they talk to my mom and ask about my dad, I'm like, they're going to tell yeah, them, they're yeah, going to yeah, find yeah, out my yeah, lie. Yeah, and yeah. I just told them, I was like, yo, straight up, like, this is what it is. Uh, and I didn't, mm, I felt yeah. nothing. And I was like, I love you guys. And thank you for listening. And wow. I just, man, that's oh, that oh, yo, the shit, yo, I got yeah. oh, bro. <laughs> That shit was powerful. That shit's dude. crazy, bro. Damn, dude, that was wow. some shit, dude. But yo, nice. I, yo, I have to say just one more thing though. Like, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. yo, <laughs> I always, I always doubted Josh because I hadn't taken like a full shroom trip before, and yeah. like he talked a lot of like a lot of stuff about it, and a lot of like that everybody has their own fire, way of yeah, saying yeah. it. But I was in that shroom trip, and I realized something. I was like, "Yo, I've," I, I thought about what Josh was saying, and I was like, "I've been here for thousands of years. Like maybe not me, like Sean Paul, yeah, yeah, my yeah. physical Another self. Another forms of energy. Yeah. Another form of energy." And I was like, "Yo, Josh, I, if you're listening right yeah. now, <laughs> I was like I understand now. I get what you're saying." And it's, yeah, it's a very powerful experience. I like and I think you, you never know what's going to happen. I like how so, you said that. Um, what were you going to say? You, you, you're about to say something? Because I want to say I'm about to bring up thing. a whole different topic. Oh, right, hold yeah, on. Yeah. So let me say this last thing. So just connecting everything all around, I, I feel like what Shroom does, it unlocks that different part of you and makes you understand your own identity. Mm -hmm. Because so people, I feel like people be so captured in, in the realm of now or like in the realm of who they want to appear to be in the moment. Their ego. Yeah, and not yeah. their own personal identity. And it's why I said like it's hard for people to be themselves around others mm. when you become what you consume. I was thinking like when you guys were talking about all of that, and I was real quiet. I was you could you could see it in the camera too when we go back. I was just thinking to myself like, <laughs> yo, it's true what they saying, bro. What's it called? Um, fuck. I was I was battling my ego my first trip ever. I went in straight full dose, took an eighth. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing this. And then afterwards on the come down, me and Josh were talking. And as we were speaking, I was telling, I was, you know, like apologizing for like bullshit that I would do and shit like that. Yeah. And we were both coming to terms with like weird behavior and weird little habits that we do. Well, we didn't really want to talk about them with each other. Right. Yeah. And bro, I, I felt and visually saw it in my head. Well, like, you were saying. like it was a statue and I was chipping away and chipping away at my ego as I spoke to Josh <laughs> yeah. and behind that ego was light bro Yo, I swear it, felt it, just like it's so crazy yeah. I was talking to him about my trip and I had said like I envisioned an older version of me sitting right next to me oh. on my bed mm -hmm. and like cause I had taken it in my crib you feel me so Literally, oh. like, I felt everything coming at me. I felt like all my feelings, all my emotions, my... I saw the... I saw, like, you know when you look in a mirror and you see your own reflection? I saw that, like, ten times differently, but through all the different phases of how I became me up to this day. And... Whoa. Yeah. It's crazy, Yeah, bro. like, I felt... Whoa. <sighs> bro, it was something, like, it was an in and out of body experience. Like, I couldn't even believe what You were what closing I, your eyes? Or nah, it was like literally open visual? opened, bro, and I saw me sitting on my bed, but all the version of me, bro, Ooh. like I was tripping the fuck out. That's like, the thing about shrooms is that you see, because is well, the thing about shrooms is it'll give you visual distortions, like it'll distort things. Yeah, but like th whatever you see in your head feels so fucking, fucking real, real. <laughs> that it's like like he was, you didn't actually see him there, but your mind tricked your eyes it's into thinking that it was that it there. Was there. Yeah. That's how I felt, bro. Oh my and, God. And it's so crazy because I'm like, yo, I'm talking to myself. Like, literally, I'm talking, but I'm talking to nobody. That like, I'm just talking bro. to me. But you're having a conversation bro, back yeah, and forth. Yeah, but I'm right? having a conversation <laughs> back and forth, but no words are coming out my mouth. Like, yo, yo and I'm just like, <laughs> yo, I'm just shocked right now. And Josh was telling me about how he was on a trip and he saw like a bigger version of himself, how you become greater, you feel oh, me? Yeah, yeah. But you also see your own flaws and that's what I also saw. Like, and that's why I, I fuck with shrooms be for that simple fact. You see your own flaws, you see who you want to become and you know the work that you have to put in mm -hmm. and that's why I feel like there's so much clarity there because it unlocks everything that you want to hold back on. You said that beautifully, man. Yeah, like it that's fire, it opens bro. Claps, up clap, snaps, 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 snaps,
how you have been here for thousands of years. And I definitely believe in past lives. Yes. And I want to get into that because I think we all believe in past lives. And so the question I want to ask, uh, two questions. Are past lives real? If so, how to tell the age of your soul and how to tell the age of if someone else is an old or young soul? Okay, so I've read a big book about this, right? I think I mentioned it before. It's by Dr. Michael Newton, um, Be- A Life Between Lives. Is it Destiny Between yeah, Souls? Yeah, Destiny Between Souls, Life mm-hmm. Between Lives and shit. And the way he would explain how past lives work is basically you come to Earth or wherever you're going, because, you know, Earth is not only the only place in this universe where people go to learn how to, you know, advance their souls or whatever, mm-hmm. right? You would go do what you need to do, and then in that, and then you will die, and then you will review your life, and you'll be like, "Hey, I didn't, I don't think I did what I wanted to do. I have to go back. I got to do that again." And then you will come back as a different reincarnation of yourself, right? How to tell someone everything. forgetting everything? That's the deal, though. That's you, deep. you can't, you can't, you can't remember anything because if you remember everything, you might do everything the same again. Wasn't right? it the um? Um, I know you guys know the name of they call them the first like humans or the first like species to like uh-huh. uh, I know exactly what you're talking life. about but I don't know the name of it specifically I don't know. but I know what you're talking about yeah. on the know, island like, like, right it's yeah. something but the, the, the thing behind that was that they were like I guess called them like the first like species that seeded human life and they were capable of just continuing continuing yeah. uh, existing yeah. like they would Never die. Or eventually, they, yeah. Eventually, well, eventually yeah, so. But that's the thing. Energy can can be neither destroyed or created. Just, I was just about, yo, you, always, you know what I'm gonna get it's, into. It's always being, bro. We're yeah. synced here right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because the, the main thing I wanted to point it out though is that not like if you don't believe in that, you don't believe in that. But the whole thing is that energy never dies. And yeah, they, energy never dies, exactly. If you exist, there is no such thing as non existence. There non existence. By definition, by definition exactly. is does nothing. not exist. Yeah, you can't make non-existence. So we're always here, and that mm-hmm. kind of just like seeded that rule. It's just, it's a that story. Word is a paradox in, ex- in itself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to not exist, it's like you were here at some point, and your energy is still lingering. Yeah, not just that. Also, I want to get into the other question you said: uh, how to tell if someone's old soul or young soul right. or whatever. Um. That's a hard question to answer because obviously I don't really know. I, but that. I feel as though to know someone's an old soul is by their mentality. Well, I want to get an answer out of all of you. Yeah, out saying. of their mentality, how they view their their themselves and others as well, and that's kind of like an old soul. You know, you know. I guess I consider myself an old soul or whatever, but a young Why? because I feel as though like you know I've I've through my family and stuff I always. You know, my family is not very, like, crazy successful or whatever. You know, success doesn't have to do with anything with being mature or not. But I feel as though, like, I was always the one who wanted more, understood more, and they never really understood me. Do you, Ooh, do you, I felt that. Go ahead. No, no, I'm not going to interject. I don't, you think, can, you can go I don't think that they weren't understanding you necessarily. They just didn't understand or they didn't want to progress themselves. They were stuck in like how Brian said, this illusion oh, of time. I love yeah. this conversation. I was gonna right say, here. yeah, just how you said that. I was gonna say like, don't you think maybe it's like we're we're the front line of this new generation? Yes. Like we know more things than any other generation before us. Like we're growing because of them, and we're just at like the top of the stepping stool that they previously set for us. So mm-hmm. it's so crazy. I want to add on to what he said, like the success that comes from like just our family is not is not the best or top top mm-hmm. tier i would say but what i would say is that just how sean said we're, we're the front line and where is our responsibility to be able to teach our family and to be able to teach our parents like yo there's so many more possibilities than where you came from yeah. and the reason why you feel misunderstood and i and i felt that in my soul is because you feel me i lived in my crib but it's like mm-hmm. i wasn't living there you feel me yeah like it's like i'm always always trying to learn always trying to do different things but at the end of the day i'm being misunderstood you the way you, the way you said you weren't living like you felt like uncomfortable or like what no, do you no, mean no, by no, you no, no. There? like i was living there physically but mentally i wasn't living there mm. what do you mean you by wanted that? to be somewhere else yeah what did you so mentally i was somewhere else because how i said is our responsibility to be able to learn and to be able to move forward with yourself and be able to evolve but I can't do that when I have people hindering my growth with mentality from mm-hmm. what they're stuck on. And it's like, yo, it's true. You become a product of your environment. If you allow yourself to be sunk, 
then you gonna sink. You feel me? And then you, you kind of did like the strong move though. You kind of like separated like your environment from your state mm-hmm. of consciousness. Like some people like let their environment affect them, but you segregated the two. That's my mentality. I control my mentality. I'm in my environment, exactly. but I control where I am. And exactly. I feel like understanding that will determine if you are have been here longer or if you're I feel like people can person. learn that though yeah opinion. everyone can learn it that's yeah. what I'm saying but hold people up, learn it at up. different times I want to interject between both of y'all because how how I said I feel like sometimes as much as we want to believe that everyone is capable of learning and moving the way you do the real reality is that not everyone could do that you feel me and you got to be fine with knowing that you're going to lose some people and some people are not going to be able to learn what you yeah. learn i understand what you're saying yeah. but it's everyone everyone is capable of change it's just yeah. it's only if you want it and not everybody wants it not everybody subconsciously they don't even know that they don't even change, want it change is not always well you're going to change no matter what whether exactly. it's negative or positive you feel me but that's why it's people not. that's why people struggle so much as they as they get older because they keep trying to they, they're not trying to change they keep trying to keep they keep trying to just cement l- themselves in, in, th- in this one aspect of life and this is what i'm gonna do that's why you see a lot of like let's say like our this, parents this. our parents worked their ass off for decades right mm-hmm. and they still in the same place why because they had that mentality that they just have to work and work yeah. and work and work and it's like how you saying your mentality wasn't in that same household where you gotta just work, work, exactly, work. You had exactly. to build, you had to move, you gotta get the fuck out. Exactly. We gotta get out as a your collective. Own you gotta get your own bag. You gotta be like, yo, I'm responsible for this and this. And if I wanna make your life better, I gotta put myself in those situations. Mm. And if yeah. that means if that means I have to cut away and and if that means I'm a bad son to you, then that's cool. You feel me? Yeah. But you going you I'm gonna make sure you live the life that I think you deserve. I got a question for all three of you, and I wanna start with you. Is there a specific experience? That has led you towards that like what is there a specific time where you felt like what the fuck i'm not here mentally I, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm three levels ahead yeah and, I, and i'm gonna bring this all the way back to something josh was saying off a of camera and it's something that we all could relate to because the pandemic changed everything mm-hmm. i would say is the isolation that the pandemic required from us and what that did to everyone so you had like recently like like Recently, I was in like last year type shit where you like waking up and you're like, yo, I can't, I can't be here forever. Yeah, exactly, so exactly. Then, you feel me? Wow. It was like between. You, you're right. I think we yeah, all can agree to you that. You feel me? It's been since the the pandemic started because it, how I said it, it came. I was coming from a mentality where I was in school. You feel me? I was in college. Mm-hmm. I I just went into it on some fucking shit straight out of high school. I was just living my life, partying, mm-hmm. doing this and this and that, getting to the Man, back. We from New York and you from Harlem. Yeah, so you party you, harder yeah. than all. Yeah, yeah. you feel me? But, <laughs> but it's also like you gotta get to it at the same time. So when all of that was put to a stop and you have nothing but your thoughts, you start to realize a lot of shit and that shit hits you like a truck. You feel me? So that's when I know this is my responsibility and it's on me to get to where I want to be. You feel me? And I can't. I said your environment keeps you stuck. And something that I was having trouble processing was like, yo, I went through college and felt like five semesters back to back because I was Mm. trying to push myself for something that I didn't even want just to put a smile on my mom on my mom's face. Like, yo, you know what? Let me just make you happy. This is not for me. You feel me? But whatever the whole point that i'm trying to get across is that when all of that stopped and i was stuck with just me my thoughts and my own energy i had to become something else Holy because if not shit. i wouldn't like energy can't yeah, be i'm like reacting on the inside yeah. so nah, it's bro, like I, I have i'm like holding it back because i just i want you to keep going just yeah hit, so yeah. it's like yeah so how you said energy can't be neither created or destroyed but at the end of the day i was existing but i'm like yo i feel like i'm just flatline like i'm not going nowhere i have to do something more so when I finally sat myself down and I decided to unpack everything, it was just like, yo, I have this trauma that I'm dealing with. I have to break down everyone I have in my life. I have to break down my flaws, my bad habits. I have to do my, I have to think about the routine I'm waking up and I have to think about the music and content I'm consuming. Because if I continue this way, I'm not going nowhere. I'm gonna continue to flatline. And unfortunately, some people never find their purpose. You feel me? You got to put yourself in that circumstance to put yourself outside of your body and be like, yo, this is what I got to do. And if that means I got to lose everybody I love around me temporarily, then that's exactly what I'm going to do to get to where I need to be. So, I, so, I, so I'm able to be of service not only for my family, but to everybody in the world. And I feel like that's everybody's purpose. That's when you find yourself. When you find what you offer into the world, and you find what you bring in as a service, I feel like that's your purpose right there. 
Dude. So, wow. Dude, bro. This, this moment yeah, right bro. here, with everything you just said, I seen it before. I had a premonition last year. Word. That's why I was like, yo, what the fuck? And I was stuck. Like the last 10 seconds or 15 seconds of what you said, I didn't I didn't even hear it because in my mind, I'm just like, there's no way this actually happened. <laughs> last year, I had a dream and I told Josh, yo, bro, we need to start a podcast soon. And Josh, you know, ran with it, obviously, and started the mind, the mind's eye. But last year, I had a dream and it was with you. I put this on my mother's soul. It was with you. And we was talking, all of us, all four of us, we were talking. I don't know if you remember this, but I said, yo, bro, there was a, I had a dream of Brian and in the back he had, there was, I saw Freemason symbols. The reason why I remember that was because of the Freemasonic symbol, the square and compass, right? Mm. Look who's behind you. Yeah, that shit crazy, bro. <laughs> that's Shit, insane, bro. bro. That's insane, bro. Nothing. I want your perspective. Is a I got goosebumps right Because I feel like you had a lot to say. I'm bro. sorry. I just had to put that out there. Y'all just, yeah, I just. Nah. I appreciate this moment with you guys so much. I feel so much gratitude. I'm grateful right now. to be here. I'm grateful to Thank be here. Thank you, bro. Yeah. 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 in this right room, now, bro. bro. Yeah, I felt like you wow. just like really like. It wasn't even you anymore. Like your physical body here. Like I felt like you do like what I enjoy to do sometimes, and you speak from like that higher self. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just let that shit flow from you. Yeah. But I, I just felt that way because like everything you said, one it just it just reemerged like past memories that I had that I was thinking about that like I was soaking in and feeling on. But I mean to answer that question, like a moment that I had similar to that is like around like 2017, 2018, like we were doing Lazarus parties and shit. Like, we were getting pretty big. Um, and then we started coming down. Like, everybody wasn't, like, in it. And that's not the point. Like, the point is me, like, going home and, like, thinking I could be doing more. Mm. And, like, just sitting, like, and sulking in my head, like, my own energy. Like, literally in my bedroom alone for the entire day, just thinking to myself. Making characters in my head. Like, making my friends talk conversations with me on my own. And I'm just like back and forth, back and forth, just sitting in that negative energy. And like you said, like I was flatlining. Like I was flatlining at that point and I didn't know what to do. And it, it took me a while to realize that I fucking needed that moment. Hmm. Like you need that moment to sit with yourself and find out who you are. And something that I just learned recently that just really, really stuck with me. Uh, one of my friends told me, he was like, yo, you... This, this is my problem. I, I always want to help people. That was the main problem. Yeah. I, wanna, I was telling them about that, but continue. It's, it's, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's, it's a balance, but I wanted to help people. And I always told my friend, Saul, I was like, yo, bro, like, I don't want to, like, get rid of them. Like, hey. I think we can do better with them. I think we can, like, make them, yo, make yeah. them, like, what we see, you know? You got my neurons firing, but go ahead. Go no, ahead. But that's yeah. how you made me feel. He was dragging it's weight. It he was dragging un unnecessary weight with you. And that's why you couldn't fucking grow. You couldn't yeah, I didn't go wanna, up the stairs. You carry on these weights. I didn't want to say it. Like, I didn't want to be that person to be like, yo, like, you're dead weight. Because that comes off wrong. No, but you see, that's, that's the hard conversation. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. Because a lot of people, as I was telling Josh, and I had this conversation with Santiago as well off camera. It's like, people get comfortable with, with just... Being, you feel me? Like they don't want more from life. You feel me? And I'm not talking down on anybody that is comfortable with just with what they working for. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like you gotta tell yourself, yo, if you know this energy is not for you, and you know this energy is not bringing nothing to the table, no type of love, no type of work relationship, networking, it's not opening doors for you. Why stick around? And mm -hmm. I'm not saying to use people as a benefit. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, be aware of everyone in your team that's playing a role. You feel me? Like, at the yeah. end of the day, you're going to need people on your way to the top. And as much as I wanted to be the person that I wanted to do everything alone and say, yo, fuck this. I don't need nobody. I could do this shit by my dolly. Like, you feel me? I did that, and then it didn't work out for me. You mm -hmm. feel me? So it's like, that's when I learned, like, yo, as you move forward, at the end of the day, you're going to have a family in the future. You're going to have good people around you. But in order for you to even get to that top 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 notch type shit you feel me you got to be able to isolate yourself and tell yourself yo if i know this company is bad for me i gotta cut them off right. or if i want to keep them around i gotta be able to have that hard conversation and be like yo bro you you've been doing this for a while and you feel me i just want to come from a place where you understand that i'm just trying to help i'm not even trying to judge you i'm just trying to help and certain people to believe it or not they can't handle that constructive you can only yeah, do yo. it so much so much yeah. more you can only yeah. do it so many times and as i told them i had a i had a network event you feel me earlier in 2020 it was summer of 2020 and that was the greatest thing that ever happened to me in my life you feel wow. me like 
Wow. Yeah, like I saw so many great things happen. I, I got to interact with great people and I saw like people's dreams come true and I just like, I put a different fire in people, you feel me? I wouldn't say me, just people themselves, you feel me? Because you just gotta let, put a lot, a whole bunch of smart people, or a whole bunch of people that have drive in the same room mm -hmm. and just let them talk to themselves and see how far they get, mm -hmm. you feel me? And literally like that was one of the best things that ever happened to me, but I also saw like it's when I came back to like, I've helped a lot of people and I've changed a lot of people's lives, but now I got to change myself because that's that, the key. That did nothing. Like, that's the key, bro. Exactly. Like I saw what I could do from a perspective of help. Now it's time to help myself. But and that's how you. That's what my friend was telling me. That's what he cemented in me. He was like, "I know you want to like. I know you want to help people, and that's like you should." But you need to help yourself in order to help another person. Exactly. Like, how can you help somebody else if you can't, if you're not even stable yourself? It always, it, we always end up talking about that in like yeah. most episodes. It's like you can't, you're like I'm gonna use it again. You can't, I can't love you if I don't love myself. Yeah, we were bro. talking about yeah, that earlier. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. I can't help you if I can't help myself, bro. Yo, wow, yeah. it always ties down to that. That also ties into the question, like your place in this world slash universe. You know, like I feel as though, mm -hmm. like lately. I've been on, I actually told Brian this also off camera, you know, off camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> off camera battle. Right? Yeah, right? yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but um, I've noticed something within the spiritual community because, you know, that's what I'd be following and stuff. It's just, it's not, it's, 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 it's kind of, it's kind of like, like brainwashing people in a way. Because they, they tell you, oh, you can't do this if you want to be at a high vibration. You can't mm -hmm. drink. You can't smoke. You can't be with this person or whatever. But it's kind of like Christianity re or other religions remixed and then put into a perspective that I think oh, is true. Absolutely, right? bro. So then I was like, you know Omnism. what? I was like, yo, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm yo. human. I'm here to be here a fact. to do whatever. Ever I want to gather the experience and then take it back with me when I fucking leave. That's Bro. the whole point. What so, I say, sorry, keep yeah. Going. So I say like all that stuff, working on yourself. That's the main goal. You're not here to work on someone else. You're here for that's, yourself. Yeah, and essentially, by working on yourself, you work with everyone else. Yep. Because everyone is you. It's a symbiotic relationship. That's a fact. Everyone is a reflection, or you feel me, a mirage of you. But a lot of people. As I was saying, a lot of people don't like to put in that work, you feel yeah. me? A lot of people like to, I would say just post. We we became into this world of like a social media as re reality and, mm -hmm. and people are stuck in that and they be like, yo, just cause I post a spiritual quote or I just post this and make it appear like this, I'm good now. You feel me? I'm, good around, about, I'm good around this higher power and it's like, yo, you, you start a conversation with them 10 minutes and it's just like, yo, you ain't shit. Like, <laughs> you don't shit like, you feel me? And it's not, it's not coming from a place where it's like, I'm trying to, I'm no, trying to talk down. You feel like, me? But it's just like, damn, like you, you don't even bother to work on yourself that much. Like, and that's what I'm saying. People just move up one level and it's like, they take 10 steps back. We all human. We all make mistakes. I acknowledge that. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. But in order for you to be that higher self or that best version of yourself, you got to know what it's like to step away from the mm. social media reality and just to step away from people. Like, go read a book. Go take a walk. Like, go enjoy who you are and notice all your little things and all your little quirks that you do and come back to you and have a conversation with yourself at the end of the day and be mm. like, yo, today wasn't a bad day. Like, I did this mm -hmm. and this and that. <laughs> You feel me? And tomorrow yeah. you take another, you try five new things and see how that goes. Yeah, for you. A lot of people get stuck in that, like having a regular day where I wake up, yeah. I exercise, you know, I, I, I'm laying in bed and I'm playing some video games. I, I come outside just to see some friends. I go back home and call it a day. I that's a good day. Yeah. That's not a like, oh my God, I'm not doing nothing with my life now. When you start making things a habit, because anything of X excess right anything yeah. of ex in excess is fucking just bad for you it's poison even water water is the fucking the the the, the essence of life yeah. right and too much water will drown you you know what i'm saying everything is too much of everything will kill you and that's why a lot of people get mistaken it's okay to have a regular good day don't drive yourself crazy like niggas be overworking themselves i'm kind of nah, like i'm kind of rammed in here but, but this is the thing nah, it's so crazy that we getting back to normal now like where everyone getting back to work schools opening up and all that but at the end of the day like 
I hope as a society we don't move backwards mm. to a time where it's like, yo, I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna just go work my nine to five. I'm gonna go home and that's it. That's, that's it. What that's what they wanna do. That's my day. You feel me? And it's piss. I'm dead. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> so so yeah. So how how I was saying like, I hope we don't move backwards as a society and we're able to appreciate more of each other now that we went through the isolation phase of quarantine and all that and we went through get back to like actually socializing yeah, and like doing something to, productive yeah but also not just coming back to just socializing with a couple lives and letting it be as it always been but coming back and being able to build on each other's build ideas yourself. you feel yeah. me and a lot of this is a little irrelevant but just to put shit into perspective Elon Musk and everything that he has done has been by building off of other people's ideas and a lot of people have gotten mad for that you feel me because he's been successful at it and I feel like we sometimes we don't give enough credit to people who deserve it and I feel like we all stars in our own way it's just some of us shine differently mm -hmm. you feel me and how I said it's up to each other's own to find that power in everything you do I don't think, yeah, a lot of people like bash Elon Musk because apparently, like his, uh, he has like bad um, employee management. He wants to put AI in your head. That's why <laughs> people are controversial <laughs> about that. But like he treats like employees like bad. But I think, I think in like in a different perspective, like Elon is that, pushing that's for that's a dream. That's from the outside looking in, and that's what that's I'm, what I'm saying. saying. Yeah, like it's from the outside looking in because it's like okay, you're pushing these employees past like the breaking point. That looks from an outside perspective like bad, but, but he has a given, drive. But he's giving stocks to them, and he's giving this giving and this and things. that. Yeah. Like, they get a lot of benefits. Th this is the gems, and coming from where we come from. Like, we don't get a lot of that. Like, you don't find a lot of resources in the hood. They don't tell you about investment. They don't tell you about entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And to connect everything all around from the moment we've been speaking, that's what it's all about. Finding yourself through your trials and tribulations. And I've, I've managed to done that through isolation, through college, through losing myself multiple times and times again, whether it's through a job, a system, just being able to understand the structure that we're put in as, as people and... It's like how I said, it's up to you to break from that. And, mm -hmm. and schools, working a nine to five, not being able to, to have the freedom, travel whenever you want, being able to do anything at whatever time, you feel me? You got to be able to build for that. I think it's either you go now, you go now and you do the thing that you're passionate about, or you wait until you reach your critical breaking point. Because everybody mm -hmm. has a drive or everybody thinks they have a drive. Like people have to discover that for themselves. There's something within you that you want to achieve. Like where is the life that you look like you're headed towards? Where's the life that you set out to achieve? That's great. Be aware of that. And, and then that's what I that. said, what I said about society. Cause it's like, now we are moving backwards to a point where it's like where we was at before quarantine, where it's like, yo, we're going to go to school. We're going to go back to working because we haven't had this in a while. And I'm okay with that. And it's like, yo, what happened to people having dreams? What happened to people actually putting their foot on the gas and not breaking for nobody? Like just fully going for that and being able to accomplish all of that. I feel like, I feel like there's a loss of, of wisdom and a loss of drive. And it's just, it's yeah. a lot of, a lot of it goes with the system. And like, you guys can, like you and Santiago can definitely agree. Cause you guys, and this, like not to like sound weird, but like they went through like the pipeline. Like it's a school to like college yeah, pipeline. Yeah. Like yeah. you get straight from school and you go to, you go to college because it makes your parents happy or it makes your teachers satisfied. And then like people like these guys, like you can break out of it and you can do more. Yo, let me put you on to an insight. So before I did my actual actual um networking event i try to do it inside my college and mm. that's that was my final stroke that's like what got me to fucking finally drop out after that shortly after that because it was just like yo I, I want i had so many great ideas like i went through the fucking director of the school and all that and literally i felt like that system was keeping me down like mm -hmm. i feel like every every try to anything i try to break away to instill passion in people whether it was about music whether it was about artists like painting anything like just being able for people to be able to network with great people and to open some big ass doors like they dead ass wasn't having it. They was like, oh, these people need certain credentials and shit. And I'm like, yo, how you gonna- Credentials for what? Like To, to bring them into the building. 
Cause there was a, I was trying to do an actual networking event, but inside the college what? building. Yeah, so it was just like I looked at that. That was my wake up call, and I was just like, "Yo, what the fuck? Like, it's so crazy." Y'all talk about, "Oh, we want the best future for y'all, and we want to make sure that you're in the best environment, that you're doing whatever you want." But the minute that you take away from their structure of taking away money from the school or taking away time. It's over, like it's clip for you. Yeah, right. you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of something I read in the Four Agreements. I the, feel like they kept kept me down, but go ahead. Yeah, it reminds me of something I read in the Four Agreements: the the um the punishment and reward system. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Mm. Like if you do something bad, you get punished for it, and then if you do something good, you get rewarded for it. Yeah, that's how the system works. But like, it's up to somebody who dictates what's bad, what's right? Bad, exactly. Yeah, that's that's society. Society. yeah, exactly. So what what he what he was to like further elaborate when you were saying. Uh, let's say let's take it in like uh, the author talked about it with children so when you're a child right you look for your parents give you a punishment reward system uh, you do something bad right which is yeah. not necessarily bad but in their eyes is bad like uh, you spilled some milk yeah, right yeah, you yeah, get a bow yeah, bow yeah. you feel me yeah, but yeah. if you clean it up afterwards you got a oh, good job you're such a good uh, son yeah. you know we, we feed off of that as children and then in life it, it starts building for other rewards. Like you start looking yeah. to it into your teachers, yeah. into your friends. Yeah. And nowadays we get connected to social media. You know what? Nigga, every time you got a like, you get a, like a little warm feeling in your chest. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it feeds you that reward. Yeah, it, it gives you that reward. Like, oh yeah, my picture's doing good. That's yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. And we as a society have fucked that up completely. Because we, let, we make people think that just because you can get a certain amount of likes because your ass is fat. Yeah. Then, like, you yeah. matter. You yeah. matter because your ass is fat and you get a million likes on that picture. Yo, sorry. Now, I, I kind of I just want to, like, uh, soften the blow a little because I sound like an asshole. I don't mean to say that you have to, like, do something for society that that's progressive in order to matter, right? Yeah. Everybody matters, right? Yeah. Everyone has a purpose in this life. Mm-hmm. But you gotta contribute to society in some way. No, no, no. Yeah, I and mean, that's what we were saying earlier. That's what by, talking about. By, by being of service. That was like before. It comes back full circle. But yeah. I'm gonna let you interject because I know you wanted to say something. Before. Yeah, I think you said something really good. Like, it, it, kind of pretty much what we were talking about is like uh, going in with into yourself and like making something out of you before you help others. But mm-hmm. I think it ties in with that with social media because a lot of people like they want to seek justification and validation from other people. Yeah. And that's the exact opposite. That's seeking validation and pleasure from outside. Right. Rather mm-hmm. than creating a system within yourself where you dictate what is bad, what is good, and oh, only you, only you can give yourself the pleasure right. of like, yeah, all right, I did something good. Right. It's, it's, of it's course, a to, a certain, to a certain extent, of course. To you know, like, what even, do you mean? What do you mean? like fucking serial killers, they'll fucking justify that they just killed this guy and you know, so nah. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Of, of course, like, yeah. of course, I'm, I'm right Radicalizing it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But oh fuck, I was gonna say something too. Shit, bro, I had a brain fart. That oh, shit was like that marijuana. You wanna end it? It was that. Nah. Wait, listen. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what happened to my brain right now. <laughs> it was that. Um, um, no, but I think it ties in back to like the whole social media thing. Like we see now, like people getting like very, very like offended and like they're they're yeah. ruining their own lives. By by taking other people's opinions, like yeah, not, like you can take people's opinions into account because that's constructive cause criticism. Um, but um, but when it comes to people that like you 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 will just want to live your life the way you want to live, that should have no nobody's opinion should have nothing to do with that. And we, that's what makes yeah. you happy. Yeah, and we all been there. You feel me? I'm not gonna sit here and be a hypocrite. Like I ain't never been there. You feel me? I was at a point there. You feel me? Like talking from a music perspective and just not even a music perspective, just a social media like. How I said with the podcast and everything I had going for me as a brand, I I was trying to push that and I was like I was seeking that validation. Like I wasn't I wasn't seeking to get clapped, but I was just like seeking other people to build on my idea mm. and to once, recognize your establishment and then go off from that too. Yeah, right? and to and to build and to add on to that. And once I know that I'm like, yo, people do not give a fuck. Like you yeah. feel me? Like <laughs> they don't even give a fuck about like, themselves. Like, like, yeah, I'm facts. over here doing great shit, trying to help everybody, and it's like, yo, people do not give one fuck. Like it's just like, oh yeah, I saw that post you did on Instagram. That that was nice, but yeah, bro. Now, yeah, I, yeah I, yes, actually, I, I remember. You, I remember what I had to say now and it was tying into what you are talking about I was telling Josh when Josh first started this and he was like yo bro I want you to be a part of it I remember just telling him like yo bro listen our word what we have to say we don't deserve for people to hear it yeah. right we don't deserve that you know like we have to come into this 
say what's on our mind. And if it's going to help somebody, if people could take the information that we're putting out there and it helps them, it'll, it wakes them up, it, it gives them the right questions to ask themselves, that's valid. I'm, I don't give a fuck if somebody comments, like we had a comment on TikTok, someone was like, and I was wearing a blue hat at the time, it was like, yo, let the guy with the blue hat go off all the time. You know, he's awesome. Thank you for that, right? But I don't let that shit get to my head. That's just one yeah. guy. I'm also thinking about the other guy who was like fucking ghetto dummies who yeah. also commented that. You know, I'm thinking about both sides and, and I don't let that get to my head. And that's yeah. what people get. That's what we're talking about, essentially. People look for validation through you, fucking getting likes and saying all of this shit. Isn't you, that crazy? You've you seen that movie. You can't. You've seen that movie, right? The The Social Experiment? You know what I'm talking about? I've seen, about, I've seen the trailer, what but movie I never it's, 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 it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix the where he talks dilemma. about... Yeah, the social, that's what it is. The Social Dilemma where social basically dilemma. he explains how social media has become an extension of us. that shit is a trap too. And how, yeah. yeah, it's become an extension it of has. us and how like it influences our thinking and what we do Everything, and stuff. Everything, bro. It's insane, but bro. But that's why, that's why I... I try to encourage like step away from your phone and yeah. be be more hand than now. Like go on a walk with a friend. Go read yeah, a book. Go I'll be exactly. Instagram for go, sometimes. Yeah, for a go sit yeah. by the river. Like you feel me? Like I I try to not get caught up in that world because there's so much negativity there. And even with everything in society, even the news, bro. You turn on the news, all you gonna see is negativity. Fear yeah, yeah, I turned. I deleted that there, shit. Yeah, there's so <laughs> many, bro. There's so many good shit happening out here. Like I I, I want to put that out there. The world has a lot to offer, and so do people. Mm -hmm. But it's like. I feel like we all know the reality we living in, so it's like I'm no longer trying to like mm. establish my position. Just know, just know I'm here. Like, yeah, you feel me? I'm no longer gonna establish and say, yo, I'm doing this and this and that. Just know I'm I'm working. Right, like, that's, that's kind of deep too. Though. With that being said, bro, that was a good that was a good conversation. I that like was a that. nice one. <laughs> With that being said, this is what I love about this fucking show, right? That we just cut right in to a whole new thing. Doesn't matter what the fuck it is, we just fucking do it. That's right. A five. So That's I have five. one thing oh. I want to ask you guys. Right, I'm gonna bring out this little booklet right here. Copy. So oh, man, that's a nice book. Right, right. It's leather and everything. Real nice it's fucking book. nice, right? Real nice. Real nice. Shitty real nice. Real nice. Yeah. Yeah. Real nice. Real nice <laughs> man. For the question, what's the question about? So Shitty the question real, is, nigga. all right. I've been looking Ask into. That shit. I've been looking <laughs> into MK Ultra lately. MK right? Ultra. <laughs> MK talking Ultra. The, you talking about the Avengers, bro? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that's that. That's the. That's Ultron. Nah, that's Ultron. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm MK sorry. Ultra. <laughs> yeah. So, so MK Ultra is basically people don't know. It's a it's a series of mind control that the CIA does. It's a real thing. It's not no conspiracy bullshit. Like they can dead ass program your mind through subliminal messaging and all types of other things to influence that's the way you back, think. That's back then when they try to make yeah. people trip off of acid and shrooms. And yeah, they, they trip out in the same room just listening to the same thing, seeing how it affects yeah. the brain's chemistry. They were doing some crazy shit. Now, yeah. we all know sleeper agents exist, right? So my question is, how I do mean, you... Well, I don't... Dude, they, I yeah, think they... Bro, come on. Really I'm not too fond of that. <laughs> bro, I think... Come on. Sleeper agents, because... Think you, have about to go, it. you have to go into go into depth about it. Go into depth. So a sleeper agent is basically someone who is an agent that is under an influence of mind control and won't be activated to, until they are heard a certain phrase like blueberry, 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 and the nigga turns on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I it's some stupid shit like that. Purpose, I don't so the way it works, right? Because well, MK, because MK Ultra is a real thing. Why are you, you know? Yeah, why are you going with this? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Don't oh, yeah, you think that's right, fucking right. crazy, bro? Because mind control is a real thing. Do you think that is there some form of mind control oh, being through, okay. through us? That makes so, sense. That makes sense. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Just to like say in my opinion, like I don't think MK Ultra as in like uh, somebody's like a super soldier, like you know, hypnotized and you say a word. I don't think like we're capable of like saying like the word like blueberry or train and like mm -hmm. their automated function is just to listen to. Everything. So what if it what if it was like on some experimental shit that you were like underground and they were doing that shift to you for like months or years on end? You don't I, think you would react some certain way? No, I think I think the brain I works in a certain way and it like auto corrects. Like when the brain sees a uh, uh, abnormality, I'm not a neuroscientist or anything, but when mm -hmm. I when I think of it, I'm like when the brain sees an abnormality, like it wants to fix it, and your mind is pretty strong and resilient enough to like you know resist. I don't know how the process works, but w if if it was that case, I don't think your brain would be you know completely compromised by the repetitive nature of something. I think you'd be fucked in the head. I think they would tamper with yeah. your ability to even just comprehend anything. I don't know about the ability to make them into, you know, a weaponized soldier, but I do believe from scientists and like scientific articles that humans are very susceptible to uh, particular stimuli. Mm -hmm. So like if you've like, for example, like if you play something like in public and I don't know, somebody moves to the side and you ask them a question, they can probably depict 
or determine you you answer a certain mm -hmm. way something like that and i think we, we're exploring that and we can go more in depth to that and be able to control people's behaviors in that nature but i think it's a lot more involved than you know so check this out i think it's more prevalent Although, in I advertising yeah, I was, that's where I was just about to leave. So let me say something real quick. So just to add on to no. what... <laughs> <laughs> no, he was going to say from I'm the, I'm the, That's so, the clip in the beginning. I'm <laughs> so back to the documentary that you... I don't know if you had spoke on the documentary, but yeah. Vice has this documentary. I forgot the name of it, but it speaks on that, on the projects that the CIA did and... It's so crazy because it goes back to the world is a social experiment. Mm -hmm. And they started back back in the 70s, I think it was, with yeah. just like Hollywood. And they started with movies and cartoons by putting little stereotypes out there. Mm -hmm. And they also they also showed all the news channels coming back together to say the same script. Yeah. Which is why I said there's a lot of negativity out there and I try not to consume that. So mm -hmm. I try to stay away from that. But coming back full circle... That, that's my perspective on it. Like, we're, as a world, we're just a social experiment because we're still learning so much more. And it's only the people that try to break outside of that cage and understand that what's being put in front of you is not by choices mm -hmm. because everything put in front of you has a purpose, literally. Yeah. But a purpose not by you, but by the government. Mm -hmm. It's by so. the I was going to say there's different levels to MK Ultra. you know? Yeah, like, I we to get all, into that. We're all... Like right now, we yeah, all yeah, we all talk that about though. we what all talk about the pipeline, right? Of us going to school or whatever that was implanted in our brain since we came right. here. Yeah, yeah. That's a form of mind control, yeah. bro. That I completely. That's what I'm trying to that, say. Yeah. I completely agree. I was. With. I wanted. So you were saying about the sleeper agents, and I'm on. Like Sean, I'm talking I'm, about like this is a high level. Fucking. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on Sean with this one. I don't think that you can just say blueberry three four six and some nigga start stabbing people in forty <laughs> seconds, right? Yeah. But what I do believe that I, I definitely agree with like on a, on a social experiment level with like uh, Disney, for example. Disney wanted to sexualize us. Yeah. They wanted to make sure that as we grew up, we knew what sex was and that we were interested in it. And oh, why I say this? There's a yes, lot of did, stereotypes bro. in, a lot of in shit bro. It's Disney crazy. Shit. Like, have you ever seen the cover to The Little Mermaid? Yeah. On the Golden Castle, there's a big golden cock. Yeah. <laughs> there's a fat gold dick. Not bro, just that. Golden Castle. Bro, racism and all like... Look at that. Look at that, look at that fucking cock on that Little Mermaid shit. This zoom one? into it. Zoom, zoom into, into it. it. It actually is a picture right there. Zoomed in. Look at it. it. Look, you don't even have to look. Look. Oh, so okay, you don't okay. think it's photoshopped or anything? Just. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you don't think it's photoshopped? Pull up a, a original picture of the Little Mermaid. Okay. Yeah, bro. The Little Mermaid title. Okay. Look at it right there. Just, just press on one of those, right? Yeah. Don't just press on one of those at the top. Just zoom into it. You'll see the dick. Look I at it. It's still. Yeah, weird. you see it, right? Oh. Now that's I what I'm it. saying. So, so yeah, according according to why they do that is because. Like, you know, they always say sex sells, right? When you, when you, in advertisement and stuff, that is purposely put there because your like primitive brain understands that completely, kind of. <sighs> yeah. And like, it yeah. makes you want what the fuck it, it is. So it's, not, to, it's to, not even. To, to kind of further go into what I was saying, right? Also, it's, it's everything. Yo, search, search yeah. up. All the, all the third world and first world problems, bro. Like, Racism, search, yeah, the Lion sex, King in the sky, mm -hmm. in the everything, bro. Yo, like so, it's all in in oh, tales. Yo, so in the watch. sky and Lion King, this, there's a part when uh, right there. I, uh, when uh, this nigga is thinking about some girl, or he's thinking about Mufasa, and he lays down, and these particles go out into the air, and look, they spell out sex perfectly. That's look, crazy. right. Search up another thing too. Uh, the this little like Little crazy, Mermaid, bro. Little Mermaid Pope. Uh, I mean, a uh, a uh, priest, priest uh, in the wedding. He has an erection during the wedding. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, what the fuck? yeah. Look at it. Look at it. Look at his little. And, and then they edited it out his in, fucking uh, in newer versions. Look at his fucking chode. Look at that. They edited it out in, in newer versions of the movie. I'm so right. Weak. I've seen this one. But I was check a this kid. out. Yeah. I want. I want to mention something, right? So they ran an experiment with advertisement, right? Where on a certain program around ten o'clock, they flashed the McDonald's symbol for like a quick second. You can't even even see it unless you actually like rewind it and try to pause it, right? And then a couple hours later, those people wanted to eat McDonald's. 
it's subliminal messaging like that. It goes past subliminal manipulation. So what it does what it is. is basically passes your conscious mind and enters your subconscious mind, and your subconscious mind is a big ass sponge. It takes everything. That, in, that's what's right? so dangerous. We become right? what we consume. Bro. Yeah, it takes so in everything, and then Fuck. you fucking want to eat McFucking Donalds, nigga. Literally, <laughs> literally, literally the minimal thing. Bro. It's so dangerous because you, we know we, you can manipulate people. Like yeah. I can talk to you and be like, hey, like Brian, like touch your hand, yeah. like do this for me, do this now favor. Now he thinks you're gay. And shit. Now he thinks, like, yeah, <laughs> he thinks like, sus, but that's not the case. But now we have subliminal manipulation, like orchestrated by the governments, by political powers, by advertisers. That's deadly. That's, and that's so the, dangerous. And that's the scary part, bro, because it's that as like caught up in everything, bro, and everything. It's Instagram, subliminal. You Facebook, can't see it. Snapchat, everything. Like, You're affected by it. Apps that we use, like, bro, everything is is tied to us, bro. Everything from what you buy to what you eat to your credit card to your debit cards to, to what you eat, yo, yes. To, like literally everything, and it's so scary because it's like we no longer know how to live without those things yeah we got to break out of that we, like you said be within yourself like understand yourself find your focus find your guide in the universe Yo, I, feel, I, feel I feel like that's what makes all of us our old soul though like being able to come back to you know we're able to depict from what we have in front of us right now and be able to come back to Yo, we're able to just share a moment without like having to do crazy shit. You feel me? Yeah, it just be. So check this out, bro. So the purpose of MK Ultra, because this is a form of MK MK Ultra, if you guys didn't know, but basically it's a, the, it's a form of MK Ultra. What is this subliminal message? Oh yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. the yeah, point is, is bro. the point is is to it's implant to is in to kids. implant a idea in your mind that yeah. isn't yours. So, yeah. like I said, for example, for those McDonald's people, they didn't want to eat fucking Donald's before. Mm -hmm. But now that it was implanted in them, the subconscious mind pushed it back out. I was like, you know what? You want McDonald's. So, bro, I, I, I wanted to kind of, my fault, bro, but I wanted to kind of say this. Uh, another thing um, of the same way that you're talking about is through... It's so crazy. I said the CIA. It's through advertisements, right? But on your phone. So even yeah. Google, we have AI technology that picks up everything we say. Yeah. And then they put it in our face. Like you could talk about a fucking fidget spinner. You could talk about a fidget spinner, right? Yeah. And that shit pops up on your Instagram. Like, yeah. I don't know where. Bro, now that I said it. So yo, many. now that I said it. Yeah, if a fucking fidget spinner pops up in one of y'all shit. And even I'm going to throw my fucking, shit in the Hudson River. For our fucking <laughs> listeners and viewers, if you if a fidget spinner pops up on your feed, comment in the fucking comment I'm section. Dead. The only place you can I comment. Seen a fidget spinner so check this out. Too, so. so I want to ask you guys this because we all know that technology is way farther ahead than what we think it is. Like Hell They say it's like yeah. 300 years ahead. Mm -hmm. So... When I say sleeper agents, I, I'm asking you guys, do you really think these motherfuckers have not figured out how to do that by now? Nigga, they've been figured it out, bro. But people people are right with the trap. I'm not going to lie. Like, like it just, sounds so far-fetched that it could possibly be true. Think this, about it. This is a little irrelevant, but I feel like it still ties to, to the whole situation. But just everything we've been living through in the world... Mm -hmm. I feel like people got gave up. Like people don't want to fight no more. So yeah. it's just like, yo, you tell me to do this, I'm gonna do it. Like fuck it. Like I just want to get back to work. I want to get back to chilling That's with friends. That's literally what this whole yeah. vaccine shit That's is. That's what about. I'm saying, bro. And it's, it's like, just like if you're not vaccinated, you're an asshole. And I actually want to play something for you guys, right? Because I, I I brought this up. We're completely switching the topic now. I brought this up, and I want. I told you I had some evidence. Well, we'll get back to them. Okay, I'll yeah, yeah. Them. I showed you. That there's. I told you guys. There's some evidence, right? It's crazy on how the FDA approved it, though. I know that shit's stupid. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm not you know what they can do? You know, you know what they can suck? They can suck my cack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even going to get into it before we... You know Pfizer's in New York City? Did you know that? What? Pfizer's in New York City. They're like on right on Fifth Avenue. Let's go blow the shit. Nah, I'm fucking... <laughs> Whoa! Like, I see, I see listen, listen. Team. Yeah. Listen to this. This is on Joe motherfucking Rogan. Right, to <laughs> I'm the same guy that just passed this fucking law in New York City where you have to have a vaccine passport to go everywhere. You have to have a vaccine to no. go to a restaurant, the vaccine to card? a gym, you know? oh. to uh, any place where people gather. It is crazy. And meanwhile, the vast percent, the, the, the biggest percentage of people that. Skip it meet, a bit. Well, you have science has come. Vaccine. I'm not. Well, Jamie, I'll send this to you now. There's legitimate because doctors have been sending me these things, and you know this is neither pro nor con vaccine. I'm not. This is not a judgment statement, but imperfect vaccination can enhance the transmission of highly virulent pathogens. Right. So this is a scientific paper um, from 2015. 
that shows that if here's the set there's this one important quote vaccines that keep the host alive but still allow transmission oh. can thus allow virulent strains to circulate in a population so vaccines that don't kill the virus vaccines that allow people they like this is it. one of the things we're finding out about what they're calling breakthrough cases right so people who are vaccinated can still get covid and they can still transmit covid mm -hmm. this recently happened at the comedy store a vaccinated comedian gets texts right. you from serious damage right but it protects you from really being like badly uh, hospitalized or death but doesn't stop you from getting the virus can possibly lead to more potent viruses. That makes so sense. That kind of makes these, sense. So these, so yo, what's up? So these people who are saying it's the it's the it's the unvaccinated people that are causing Delta Bro. and causing uh, there's literal scientific Listen. evidence that proves that fucking uh, the virus if you if the vaccine doesn't kill the virus itself and allows trans. Uh, you know, it could go inside yeah, yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. It can cre it creates it. it creates stronger, more lethal, yeah. potent versions of itself. The Delta variant. Yo, you wanna and know? And it just makes sense, right? It makes sense because listen, if I have something inside of me, right, and and my body doesn't kill it, right, and the, its its sole purpose is to use me as a host and kill me at, at one yeah. point, right? And if, that, if I was you, just about to get into if that. you allow it to to live inside of you, it's gonna fucking genetically mutate and evolve to find a way to kill you, to try to kill you. It's gonna create a more potent version. Like if you think about it, uh, influenza, the I flu was, has been getting more powerful since the nineteen nine uh, nineteen nineteen since the Spanish flu. It's still around, but we have more potent of forms of the flu now yeah. because we have vaccines and the flu found a way to okay. I need to kill this nigga this Bro, way. Bro, but it's so that's crazy. All the, that's all the Delta variant and all these other variants that are coming out. It's because of that. I'm not no conspiracy theory, bro, but there have been a lot of younger people dying, like due to the vaccine and it's insane because it goes along with what you just saying like it's using your body as a host to multiply the virus become stronger and then at least the host's body and it's like damn bro. it's all an agenda bro it's all an agenda sean you're vaccinated i want to know what you think about this i mean it sounds kind of if it's based on like scientific evidence then there's nothing that's the thing about me being vaccinated like i'm not a fucking like vaccine warrior no but what i mean yeah yeah but like, yeah, my opinion on it is that if that's credible scientific evidence, that's not something somebody can die. And moreover, that's not something that somebody should push on you. If that's something that uh, makes yeah. you uncomfortable, if that if that makes you uncomfortable that you're you're <laughs> creating like genetically mutated vaccines mm -hmm. and you believe that okay, me not getting vaccinated at least now until there's like a formidable uh, foe against COVID nineteen, then that should be completely okay. Because I don't believe I don't believe that everybody completely knows the effects of this, and they they want to say like yeah, we know but everything. You don't know, but you it's know fucked everything. up because we don't have a choice. Like we're forced. To, That's the sad thing. Yeah. No matter what, like yeah, people go back to school. You can't go back to school. Well unless I'll tell you, you this. Bro, it's now. crazy. I heard. I think it's true because I read it off a of cutie, but. You feel me? Correct me if I'm wrong, but supposedly, even if you're doing online classes, you still have to get vaccinated. How does that make sense? That exactly sense. my point, you're bro. You're not even coming into the building. Exactly my point, bro. And it's just like all around, bro, to do everything as a society that you usually do, whether it's go out to eat, go to a bar, do anything. That's kind of fucking you, stupid. You need bro. you need the vaccine. You want to fly internationally, you need the vaccine. And at one point, even for local flights, I feel like that's gonna change. You feel me? Watch, it's no bro, longer gonna you wanna be buy rapid food? Testing. You want to use your food? Stamps get vaccinated. Get vaccinated, bro. Like, bro, th this is the thing. Yeah. Bro, constant people, vaccinated. Pe this vaccination, bro, like people insane, are bro. letting this shit happen. But I told you, bro. People are tired of fighting, bro. They don't want to fight no Have more. Have you seen so Australia? Like, Fuck it. You're wrong, bro. Have you you're, seen Australia, you're, bro? You're completely wrong. Have no, you seen Australia? Australia and the me the news is not going to show you. No, this. I'll be search I've seen those clips. Search of Australian protests, bro. I know There's about Australian people. I seen yo, those clips. Australians are getting fucking fed up yeah. because the government. Yo, bro, it's so crazy. But that's what I'm saying, bro. We don't have that unity here, at least in New York City. And other places, I've seen those videos. Yeah. Man. What I was saying, people it, it, still, it, it, like It's like that, too. Yeah, like, people still fighting, don't get me wrong. But at least here, locally, from what I can see, and I'm talking about outside of social media, I'm talking about, like, just taking a walk through the city or being able to drive anywhere. Yeah. Bro, there's no fight going on. Like, people do not give a fuck. It's just like... Ah, uh, you said that's the requirement. Cool. I just want to get back to work. I want to yeah, get to feeding bro. my family. I'm cool. Fuck out of here, bro.
bro, that's not what this this country supposedly wasn't founded on oh. that pussy shit, bro. And it's yeah. like, bro, I'm, I hate that people are not standing up to this shit. Like, yo, bro, really, imagine, it imagine really frustrates me, dude. Imagine back then, like in, during the American Revolution, you tell these motherfuckers, yo, you gotta do this to 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 be here. They'll take out their little fucking muskets and they'll shoot them in the bro, goddamn bro, head, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Bro, bro. Now they really dividing people, like, bro. You tell dividing someone, dividing conquer, my bro. Friend. Like they did that selling, like, bro. People that you love with that does not fuck with you because you're yeah, not vaccinated. Yeah, because you're not vaccinated. Get the yeah. fuck out of my nigga, face, nigga. nigga. You, fuck, you killing nigga. me. You creating the variant, nigga. Like, whoa, bro. That's insane. Dude, you, dude, dude. Yo, yo, actually dude. pass me one, bro. I want one. Fuck God it. Damn, oh, on, we all going to eat these now? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck <laughs> it. I repassed the... the I repassed... Oh, that. shit. Look at that. Fucking glazed donuts, my face. The mind's eye donuts. Oh, my God. This is perfectly glazed. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> you know, See, I got my donut and I wasn't vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, bro? Uh, you know, in New York City, instead of giving people $100, it's an, it's an incentive. Yo, y'all, y'all know we about to get a lot of shit for this, right? Fuck it. <laughs> That's what the show's about. Nah, I'll, I'll fuck with it. <laughs> but I think we're past that. Yo, yo, Noah, are we actually past the mark of the cameras thing? Oh. So We're still good? Okay. Yo, yeah. Yo, how, how oh, long shit. are we in? We're about an hour and 14 minutes. I'm going to cut that out. But yeah. how, lo- how long we got, though? Well, we keep going. Till we oh, go. we keep going? Yeah. I thought the camera was going to die. Let's go. Let's keep it going. This is the protest in Australia right now oh, that we're, we're observing. This fucking Australians out of all people clashing with the right you with the police think, right? in the streets. Bro, I mean they be fighting some crazy animals, niggas. Bro, like. it's, so <laughs> it's so crazy. I don't know if y'all seen the the back and forth with the governor from Florida and Biden. Yeah, a little back and oh, forth. Oh, uh, governor DeSantis. Yo, mm-hmm. yeah, ain't it crazy, bro? How the minute he spoke up against that out of nowhere, the COVID rate supposedly spiked up, and they had to start <laughs> closing schools, bro. Like after. He he has said after There's no he, such thing As a coincidence bro Bro my fucking Son. grandfather He lives in Florida right He called me He's like yo Josh What do you think about This this new variant I told him I was like yo That's bullshit But I didn't say it like that I I'll said tell it was, you what There's science that proves That I'll that variant back, guys. is That variant is realer Than a bitch And bitches no, are pretty real, it's real. I, meant, I meant the story Behind it Cause he was um, What's it called He was telling me that they started closing down shit again. And I was like, damn, they really oh, yeah, doing that to you? They're guys. trying to blame it on India for creating the variant. The variant. Get yeah, the I've fuck out of here. <laughs> and it's ne- standing- it's never- I feel like it doesn't even matter at that point, though. Like, this is a world issue. Like, variants are going to be yeah, created. Gonna I be- don't give a fuck. Like, India didn't say, hey, we're going to create the variant. It yeah. just fucking happened, bro. I just, I just wish they I wish they just take if responsibility. Fauci said that shit. I wish if these. I wish these. Like, Fauci's on the low right now. The one he's, thing he's hiding. Right? He's hiding. He's in his basement. <laughs> Where's that <laughs> fucking rat? He's a, he looks like a fucking rat. <laughs> yeah, he does, right? Yeah, but like, let me just he say, looks like, like he wakes up and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna, like, you're fucking weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yo, shit, bro. You we'll talk, probably called all the mice. He's probably running. like, he probably burns when in sunlight. He and does shit. look like a fucking possum a little bit. Right? You open. Look at that shit. Look at his ears. Oh. Sorry, Anthony Fauci. You just look a little funny. Let me just say, though, to like everybody, <laughs> all, the, the, all the those pictures of viewers at home. <laughs> they can look like Superman in the old picture. We're, we're making fun of these people because, I mean, it's funny. It's funny at, at, at one point. It's fucking hilarious. He looks like Duperman, nigga. He looks like <laughs> Superman, nigga. Yo, but Anthony Our, Fauci's like, man, we, we talked about this in like the last two episodes, but we got to talk about it again. This guy's a fraud, and he's running our country right now. Yeah. He's the most Not highest. He's the highest paid government official. Really? He is. Well, we're talking about your oh, uncle. Fauci. We're talking about your yeah, uncle, Fauci. Brian. Brian's uncle, without Fauci. Wow. <laughs> uncle Fauci. <laughs> talking about your he uncle. He said, "Why would you come from my uncle?" Say that, nigga. I'm back, guys. Fuck that nigga Fauci. Yo, but, but I just want to say before we move forward, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We we have our opinions about this, of course. Like everybody listening right now, like have your fucking opinion about it. Like doesn't fucking matter. We say what we have to say. That's a fact. Everybody feels the way we want to feel because we're here. We understand that. We have like this focus, this energy in our life. They are about to cut us out, bro. <laughs> You're like, get censored. If you want to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. If you don't want to get the vaccine, I feel like that's a choice. Like it's unfortunate we have to go through that. We have to go not through in COVID. New York. Not not in, well, <laughs> you still have the choice not to get it, but they're still putting those restrictions on. Um, yeah, yeah. Just do what you want to do. Like yeah. look, look right. at it from like a logical perspective, and find out your choice. That's facts. That's you know, facts you're media. angry with all the unvaccinated people, right? And if your science works, just let them die out, and that's it. <laughs> that's the that's the way so, the world works. 
<laughs> oh, yo. You guys check this out. This just in, Naeem Beavers, AG okay. Ford comments, fake COVID-19 vaccines could uh, land you a fine or up to five years in prison. I read wow. another post is, is wow. up from five to ten, yeah, and a $10,000 fine. Don't you think fine. that's excessive? That's, like a little that's, a, that's a pretty excessive for an injection. Dude, dude w- and this is, this is nothing against fucking women, all right? <laughs> fucking women rapists get up to like three to fucking five years. Whoa. That's crazy. Well, if a woman rapes like someone, they'll get like three years, like five actually, years. Like rape somebody. No, like, if you got fucking raped by a fucking woman, she'll get like three, five years. And, guys, and I'm going to get five years having a fake card? Five to crazy, ten years bro. having a fake card? And I got to pay five ten fucking bands? Years, nigga. Shit, bro. And you got to pay a lawyer too, that which is probably ten You know what I'm going to do in those five years? I'm going to master how to make an a, a, a identical fake one, nigga. <laughs> I will never get caught for this shit in my life again. <laughs> bro, people getting caught, caught left and right with that shit. Man. Yeah. yeah nah, Yo, were you bringing something up, Josh? Yeah, I'm bringing something up. All right, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, so, so check this out. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. The Lord. So check this out. <laughs> so I've been studying something crazy, right? And I'm going to blow you guys' minds. Cave paintings, ancient cave paintings. I'm fucking paintings, blown, bro. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, no way, cave paintings. Yeah, holy shit. No. Cave paintings. <laughs> no, sorry, so bro. check this out. That's the thumbnail right there. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, so in these cave paintings, if you guys notice, they have lines on them, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, right. Oh. So Go yeah, on. they have lines on these cave paintings. Are They're like, all parallel like, and stuff, like the right? Like you sniff. Yeah, yeah, those. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, most fuck, right? <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> Here, just in the Mind's Eye podcast, Brian sniffs coke. No, 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 no. I didn't even hear that. When did this come up? No, so check Dr. this out. No, 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 guys, listen to this, though. This so is really cool. Nah, really right? real, so, this guy, <laughs> this guy went into, I, don't, I forgot exactly where it is, but he went into a cave that basically a so farmer had to take him in, right? Mm-hmm. And he saw these cave paintings, but this time they were more like intact and they had lines on them. And guess what happened when he took a certain light into the cave paintings? What? It started moving. Whoa. Get the fuck out of my face. Like, yeah, right. the image, like, it right? started no, it started moving like a like an image. Uh-huh. They were making movies in these fucking caves, bro. Through the images. Yo. Right? That's why that's why some heads will be three heads and stuff. You'd be like, why? Is it like a nah. three headed goat or some shit? Nah. Some you... mythological mythological creature? No. This one. They were I animating. This one right here. Yes, they were that's an animated Yo, picture in a fucking fuck? cave painting. There's bro. lines on it here, and it was supposed to be they thought it was a depiction of, of deer in the grass. Yeah, nah, bro. Yo. So so when he he brung a certain light into the fucking cave. The picture started moving like a movie. It was telling an actual story. Imagine. They could only find that, I remember, because all the other sites, they were well-funded, and they had, like, all those big industrial lights, and they were shining. Mm-hmm. But this guy, he wasn't funded enough, so he went into the tunnel with only a torch. And yes. that's, how they, that's how they made it back and then. And, and they're telling you... Torch, Minecraft yeah. style. Right? And they're Minecraft telling you style. that these, these cave paintings are so primitive, they don't know what they're doing. These motherfuckers were making movies on cave yeah, walls. Yeah, I'm thinking the caveman Fuck. is just fucking slapping paint on the, on right. the fucking wall. And like, no, that, that, that Dick, that's a better drawing than I could ever do. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna hold you. If we all try to draw Bro. a fucking ox, no one would draw it just like that. Yeah, this is a really good ox. Those they were Yo. very observant. Bro, very those, so this that, is just another. That's where people like me come from, bro. That, those are my ancestors, niggas that were drawing on cave walls, bro. Bro, yeah, I know. Right? Right? Nowadays, I'm just doing graffiti all over New York and shit. Yo. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, I'm allegedly. Doing that. I don't know. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yo, no bullshit. But y'all know that it's caves that the time that I slows down, like you go into a whole different realm. Like no bullshit. Oh shit. I I I, I see. I can see how that works. I've bro, never like, heard of that. Bro. What did you that's mean? That's fucking scary. Scary, like they're you, caves that slow that slow down time. Yeah, like it's literally a whole different realm. Like they do you know, say, when you, you know do. how the theories, this theories of the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, yeah. It's just like that. Like you go into a cave and time that I slows down. Like you're not that running makes a lot on of the sense. same time as. Why me does or, that make sense though? Because like it's it, not if you're, any sense no, because like, if you're at a higher perspective, time you also the, is different. You in if the cave. If you're higher in, in, in elevation, time is also different. Bro, you in the cave and it's like five hours is passing. Like let's say you there for five hours, you come back. Five years and it's, yeah, like, it's, it's so interstellar crazy shit. shit. That's like, a lot of damage. Oh, hit, hit that! Yeah, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> that he fucked his life. Oh, <laughs> But that's crazy, bro. This Whoa. is just another example of how fucking advanced the human civilization is, and how much time it took to even get there. We don't know how advanced we truly are. We come from billions of years of evolution. Yes, allegedly billions. <laughs> bro, it's so- but yeah, we're 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 the constant 
production of these past civilizations. Mm -hmm. We incorporate all the memories, all the lifestyles that have ever, ever lived. Look how it comes back full circle again, too. Like, our body is able to adapt to crazy-ass circumstances. Like, believe it or not, bro, you could that I stand in the cold, like, 30 degrees below, bro, with yeah. no yeah, shirt. Yeah, motherfucker Wim Hof did it. Yeah, with no <laughs> fucking shirt and no pants, bro. <laughs> like, just boxes, nigga. Them fucking rations do that shit. <laughs> be ice and your body shit. is able to sustain that, and the same thing goes for heat, and I feel like people underlook the evolution that we have came through as a society and as a civilization yeah, bro. like bro our body is able to adapt to we're a lot of different of that, yeah. situations mm -hmm. people knew insane. it though mm -hmm. people were practicing with that when they didn't have shit to do they didn't have you know all they had was but this just is what i'm hands. saying we got yeah. Yeah, bro. we got we comfortable get back into once again you see how it comes yeah. back full society, circle we're so still like all the clothes does. like believe it or not like obviously we wear clothes and shit and all this other shit but i'm saying yeah. as a society we got comfortable again that we strayed away from certain capabilities and what we're able to do just as humans. So do you think yeah, we're back waiting then, for like a breaking point though? What were you going to say? Like though? back then, like in Egypt and stuff, they they wear little to no clothes to absorb the fucking sun. Oh. Yeah. Man. Did you want to absorb the sun? Hell yeah, you wanted to absorb the sun. Take off your shirt. Come on, do it. Nah, okay. I'm not going to do it. But <laughs> they wanted to absorb the sun because, you know, the sun is natural light. It gives you all types of beneficial things, you know, that they wanted to absorb that sun. They, yeah. they wore little to no clothes. I think they just knew, like, more about this world, more about their own personal bodies than that we know. Yeah, because like like Google's not telling them what the fuck sense. it is. Yeah, I feel, like it's a, I feel like we're coming to, like, a breaking point, though, where we're going to need to, like, strive and, like, be more and reassimilate with our higher selves. Yeah. Do you think that breaking point is coming soon? I think it is. Why I do think I think this? Let me get your perspective on there's this. There's a new light hitting us. Yes, there is. We have left, we have officially left the constellation the of Pisces. Pisces. Because you know how the our you know solar how the world, system, our yeah. so, all right, it, it is listen as a, as above, so below, right? The moon rotates around the earth, the earth rotates around the sun, the sun rotates around a brown, brown dwarf star, that brown dwarf star, and you know, all our solar system, everything is turning around something. Our solar system, or our galaxy, or uh, I want to say solar system, I don't know exactly what it is. But we pass through constellations, mm -hmm. okay. passing through them, and that means that that certain light is hitting us. Yeah. And when a higher frequency of light hits us, obviously there's something that's going to change within our DNA. Yeah, it's but just, that light takes a whole bunch of time to hit us, bro. We, it's not, it's not going to get to us right away. Definitely, yeah. You know, there are stars in the sky that we see, but aren't there anymore. They're dead. That's what I'm saying. That light is still hitting us. Regardless if that light is going to be dead. The, if we could see a light, if we could see it, it's hitting us. You understand? That's just logic. If we yeah. could see the light, it's hitting us somehow. There are stars, though, that are out there that we still can't see. But the stars that we see are the stars that are on our body. Like, they're everywhere on us. They're hitting mm -hmm. our eyes. So, so they're hitting anywhere I, I kind of understand where you're getting from because, like, let's say the sun, the sun gives us daytime, right? Yeah. That's what you mean by that. But even, like, if we're looking at a distant star, you know, it's not going to flash no light on us. But we can still see it. Those photons are still reaching us, right? Well, that's what when, I'm saying. You're when, seeing it because it's dead. It's just that it got to us now, but that should have been long gone. But that doesn't mean that the light's not hitting us. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Because we're still seeing it. And as we pass through these constellations, different light is going to hit us. You're we're, seeing a finite amount of that light, though. You know, I'm not going to go too deep into it because I don't know, like, I'm not, I don't know the science behind it yeah. all. But we go through these cycles or we go through each constellation. It's a 25,000 year cycle. According yeah, to yeah, the yeah, Mayans. Yeah, according yeah. To, even the Mayans knew about this. Uh, and every time we hit, we go through a different constellation and a different type of light hits us. And right now we're, in, we're entering the age of Aquarius. Which right? is the age of knowledge. I Meaning everybody's waking up. Everybody's waking up right now. I'm an Aquarius. Let's go, bro. Me too. You're an Aquarius. Yeah. Fuck you. Me too. Nice. <laughs> Gang shit. And it, and, it, and it is and it is a little coincidental that during coronavirus, everyone is starting to at least people that we know around is starting to turn to themselves. Think about this. Pizzagate. Everything with, with uh, uh, Anthony Weiner's laptop. You know the whole thing where there was a, a elite sex ring, uh, a oh, pedophile yeah, ring. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about. I, I know. You're all of that about, is coming yeah. out, right? UFOs are coming out. Why is it now? Oh, and all these things are coming out. We gotta be on lockdown. Why now? Why? It's very convenient. It's not a coincidence. It's very it's a convenient. It's play our power, bro, but... We kind of lost a whole think, year's worth of knowledge. But y'all yeah. think, think that's the breaking point? Y'all think that's gonna be the breaking ring of society? Like, society just says, fuck this shit, we had enough? At some point, you know, you can only push someone so far, no matter how much they want to be pushed, they can be pushed around. That's true, but you think that's going to happen to society? Maybe not in our lifetime, but it will happen eventually. Nothing Damn. lasts forever in the it's physical world. 
<laughs> nothing. Yeah. Yeah. The, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, there we go. Nothing lasts forever in the physical world. But I would like to see that no cab. Like. I would love to see it, and maybe we will. You know, well, we never. You would like to see know? society fucking collapse. No, nah, I would like to see collapse. no society because society finally you see, take control. You know, back, you know, in the book of the Damn. book of Revelations always depicts as the end of the world, or Ragnarok always predicts predicts the end of the world, but it's actually the beginning. Yeah, yeah well, like, I don't the, think it has to like be like the, a collapse. The evolution. But a shift. There has to be some collapse, but it's also the beginning of a beautiful future. Well, I like how you said that because a lot of people don't understand. Wow, like, that like, was put beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, that. like like Ragnarok, for example. Ragnarok is the end, right? But it's it's just it it's the end to a cycle. Yeah, you know? it's not the, the 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 finite end. You know, it keeps going. There's a cycle, and just like um. Even like you want to say the book of Revelations and the, and the Bible says we were with God, right? And mm-hmm. we did something in heaven and that's why we're here. We're paying for those sins. Mm-hmm. We have to go back. World War II, single-handedly got us out the Great Depression. If it wasn't for World War II, they would have been employing U.S. Um, employees to create tanks and weapons. Thanks, oh, Jews. Shit. Because of World War II, got us out the Great Depression. <laughs> shit. Thanks, Jews. It's a new emergence. <laughs> And that's, 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 that's humor. That's, that's a joke. Nah, there's yeah. fucking assholes Hold out up, there. Hold connecting. I'm dead. <laughs> Yo, there's gonna be some Sean fucking cocksuckers out there. But like, in a did way, he say thank you, Jews? I'm dead. I did. In, in a way, connecting it back to what he just said, where the evolution that we stepping into is is scary as fuck because we're we're on the verge of the dollar losing its value you feel me yeah russia actually pulled the dollar out of their shit recently yeah and it's just like everything that's at play all the power plays all the wars going on like yo shit is about to be looking real scary and Mm -hmm. it yo our economy is just in a fucking badass place i'm not gonna Mm -hmm. lie to y'all guys there's a lot of inflation there's a lot of tapering going on this is cool money Yeah, and it's it's so it's crazy, true. bro. It's so much inflation. Like even in my hood, like yo, everything for as far as food all went up in price. And like forty dollars for a haircut now. But you also got to consider. Hell no, no, but niggas said forty dollars. Hell yeah, that's that white boy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nigga, I'm Romanian <laughs> barber. It definitely is. <laughs> Nigga, I'm on your block. Bro. What the fuck? <laughs> You're paying forty? Yes, that's how much it is. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> 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 no, my, my barber tries to me thirty, but I pay him forty because I because I like. Wait, it. wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let your boy finish. Why I want to hear what he got to say. Sorry, yeah, you're right. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but it's twenty five just to be official. I pay twenty five and I give him thirty. Yeah, now it's now yeah now it's twenty five and shit, bro. But you guys also have to remember and consider that 2020, a lot of businesses lost a lot of money. Yeah. And yeah, but there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of money that went out too, though. Yeah. Like a lot of businesses got a lot of grants, bro. Israel got 150 million out of one. Uh, what? Yeah. What? So now they got to get those funds back. So that's why they're overpricing a lot of things and they're trying to make revenue for base 2020 quarter and the 2021. Yeah, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of businesses, bro, that got a lot of loans. They just didn't know how to use it. But I do see what he's saying from it, and, I, and I agree. What you're saying, though, is like the enlightened way to go. You so, you know, I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying was that in 2020, they, you know, they lost okay. a lot of money. So you were saying, yeah. right? And I feel like that's the right way to go about it, right? But of course, you know, there's, you know, we, we have to balance it out. There got to be some type of negativity in this world, right? Mm-hmm. That's probably what they want us to think. Oh, we're inflating it because we need to make money back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. It's going to stay like that, bro. I guarantee you. It's not yeah. going to stay listen, like that. Listen, when you give people, of po- when you give politicians, especially the power that we're giving them now, they're Ooh, not just going to give it up so lightly. All right. I can see why you say that, but I still disagree, bro. There's only, on what? There's only, there's so many different factors on why I disagree, but the... First one I will put as a priority is, bro, the people going to have the power in their hands once they decide to stand together. And it's just like, just taking along what happened in 08 when we had the recession with real estate and all that. You feel me? It was it was bad, bro. A lot of people lost their house. A lot of people lost all the money they had in the bank due to inflation and due to everything that was going on. But we bounced back and mm-hmm. we did that by standing together and then building back up. You yeah. feel me? There always has to be a fall before we get to build you know, up again. You know again. why I think we did that? You know why I think we came back? Because Obama was the fucking president and everybody just fucking ran, ran with the agenda. That's why. If you, keep, if you just run with the agenda, everything will go back to normal. Think about it. If you get your vaccine, if you do all this, if you be a slave, we'll go back to normal in 2058. Don't worry. It'll be <laughs> all back to normal. Not, not yet. That's, that's, that's a fact. But what I'm getting at is now that inflation is coming, now that our dollar is losing more 
more of its worth. There's a lot of more cryptocurrencies and a lot of digital yeah. money on the, the new door opens. You feel me? There's a lot of new industries. The same way that we've evolved as a society using different things, whether it's game system, cars, whatever it is, it's the same thing. We're in a transition right now. It's a scary transition yeah. because everything is becoming more digitalized. Be, which steps away from us being people but at the end of the day there's there's always two ways to look at it you can either decide to look at it out a bad way or you could decide like yeah. yo what am i gonna do i don't have no other option let me use it in a in the best mm -hmm. way possible and yeah. let's move forward as a society some people are actually happy of this new great reset they like to refer to every time they talk about this they're lazy because yeah they're lazy not just that but they're um they're hoping the cryptocurrency specifically xrp bro there's so much money right? to be made there bro yeah this they're, they're, they're specifically waiting for this cryptocurrency xrp to become the world reserve currency because right now the u.s dollar is currently the world reserve currency and if you take that out and you put a digital currency in there that value is going to go pfft, that's, that's another up. thing that's looking scary because other countries have um bitcoin right now and they the ones that got the most of it yeah not just so, that another thing the reason why they want cryptocurrency to be a world reserve currency because now it's a one world currency mm -hmm. Which means that the banks will have a lot more power than they do now. Nah, but they don't have no power when it comes to that. They, that we cut that you think, shit so, out. So, so do, do you think it was the middleman and niggas cut that shit? You do you feel think? Me? But, you but, think but think about it. Do you think? It, do you think banks are gonna give up their power in some in some type of money? But that's the they thing. Definitely, they but definitely, that's, but that's, they but definitely, they definitely have the, their hands in that somehow. They do, they do, but that's that's the thing. They're just little white sharks, bro. They can only do little small amounts, bro. But mm -hmm. right now, people got the power, and that's what I'm saying. Cause cryptocurrencies didn't come from no banks. We said fuck the institutions. We gonna build our mm -hmm. own shit, and it's the same shit with NFTs on the come up right now. Yeah, giving, I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah. giving exclusives right to the people. You feel me, like. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that are changing, even even with all the electric cars coming. Like it's better, you feel me, that we step away from gas due to all the shit that goes on there. But at the end of the day, Hassel, that whole transition, the the power is in the people's hands. Wow. Yeah, I think they I think they wanted to seem like the banks are like overpowering the people. Like the people are they were, bro, and, little thing and, and this, we can't do anything. And that's about why it. this enlightenment phase that society is in is good because we went from being a minority to like, yo, now we have the knowledge. We yep. knew we knew it was out there. We just didn't know how to get to it. You feel me? But now we have the internet. We not only do we we have the internet. But we have everything else along that comes right. with it by being able to network and talk to one another. That's the light of Aquarius hitting yeah. us, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. That's that light. <laughs> I think, it's, yeah, we couldn't have said it better. I think that's the power of us coming together. The power of the awareness behind that. Because then you just said, like, it then becomes a choice. Like, it's whether you want it to be a bad thing or where you, whether you want it to be a good thing. And this, this, this may come off as, like, some asshole shit to say, but honestly, asshole. bro, being broke... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm dead, but honestly, being broke is a choice by now, bro. Like, the knowledge is there, bro. The resource, there's so much money, like, out here. There's so many ways to get to the bag. Like, you feel me? All that shit is a choice. And you have the knowledge and the resources, the books, the internet, the resources yeah. just to get to it. So. Damn, bro. Yeah. Just got to go into the bank and just be like... Yeah, we good. <laughs> Give me my fucking money. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a, I think that was a great way. To yeah, that was a great way to put a say, pause. Segue into this break. Great yeah, segue into this break. We'll be right back. We'll, we'll be, be pretty right angry. Back. Bro. Yeah, dude, it's a, it's a big, you know. It's a team effort up. here, though. It's a team effort. Honestly, right though, bro. Team effort! No, no, it's a team! Let's shut up! A lot of fucking He's damage, guys. No yeah, honestly, like, one of my life goals is to be on an anime. Or yeah. at least to make an anime and have yeah. this main, like, main character just, like, be like... You know, and I guess it's shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like shooting out of your thumb or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like you know, I feel like I have the voice for an enemy. Do you want to just appeal to like that culture, or do you yeah, just, do you just like the, the animation? Every time I fight with my friend, uh, I don't know. Nah, let's get back <laughs> to it. Let's get back to it, though. <laughs> Drunk talk with the mind's eye. With the mind's eye. Facts, facts. Yeah. Little, little. So, this is gonna be really yo, interesting, guys. Yo, introduce yourself real yes. quick. We're just drunk talk with Brian Acevedo. Yes, like, even though we, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That government shit. I go by Brian and Kilo Jones. <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> Kilo DG Brian? He's on the low. This episode is gonna be episode sixteen, whatever the title is, with. Brian Acevedo. Why you gotta do the whole government with me, man? What's that, though? What you got going on, bro? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? What's the problem with that? 
I don't. I know never that. understood that. Isn't that your name? That is my name, bro. You call me, you can call me by my first name. Why you need to put my first name and my last name? I could just put your first name if that's because, what you want. Because There's a lot of Bryant if it's just, in this world. If it's Bryant, who the fuck is Bryant? All right, but that's why you're I said. Bryant Acevedo. Oh wait, wait. Are you talking about like? Are you not like, proud like of that? Drake, like a. Nigga, what? Bro? Wait, you're not proud of that? That's your name. I'm crying. Do you understand that? That is my name, nigga. Words hold power. I feel like I feel like that's something that but not a lot not of us <clears throat> think about because this is listen to this. Nah, but I'm going by like it's just the it's just the theory. Like at the end of the day, you are you're tied to your identity. You feel me? And the identity, not that you want to be known for, but the identity that you create, and people gotta stand on that and rep- and respect that type shit. Right, you feel right, me? Right, right. Oh wow, that's actually a really deep mm. discussion than <laughs> what it sounded like. You respect people's like. Hold on, sorry. My fucking mic is low. Yeah, what the fuck, Sean? My bad, yo. I didn't mean to He do doesn't that. have his headphones on. Is the mic crying. slow? What's going on? The I'm mic's not, low. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk <laughs> Damn, Sean. No, isn't that a deeper discussion? Like respecting people's identities. Like, what do you mm-hmm. guys feel about that? Like, we have a really, really big uh, cultural view issue going that, on right now. Yeah, very. Uh, we have a big view. I have us, us as a collective right here. We have a very uh, pretty biased view. Yeah. yeah, I just want to start off with that. Yeah, yeah, I would say that as well. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. we're gonna share our opinion. That's facts. And if you don't want to listen, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm crying. Yeah. But you t- you talk about like a identities, meaning like these new genders that are coming out and shit. That's what you talking oh, about. Oh, like, yeah. that's what you mean. Well, no, it's over. Because I was talking over, about in general, thing. like if you tell me, yo, I don't like being called Sean, like call me whatever this, then mm-hmm. I'm gonna call you that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, so I'm saying like the same thing like applies. Like, what if somebody said like, oh, like I want to be called like a girl, and like I want to be called a boy. But they look like you with a whole beard. <laughs> sure. Yeah. 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 You fucking, see, you see, that's I mean, see. Like ass chest. But see, like I don't have like a name. I don't have like a name that represents. Me so some people will believe they don't have a body, a body that represents. Nah, them. nah, nah. But I could just call you Sean, though. That's what. But I'm hold on, yeah. I want to get it. I want to get into names real quick, real quick, just I, because I, that's I, like I, I, that's like the fundamental, like uh, uh, that's like the 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 base. That's the first thing that comes with identification is a name, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But it's the name you that fe- you want. He felt like you felt like Sean Paul wasn't isn't your. What would you say? You don't think that's your identification? Like, no, no, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about people. Oh, okay, because you no, said... No, I'm Sean Paul. Okay. You were saying like, <laughs> a different person. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, I'm saying for like people that that, that feel that way. Like you, like, why do you like feel like... Side. Why do you feel like you, you... You know? Why do you feel like you just mm-hmm. need to be called Brian? Do you not I like... Didn't say, I didn't fuck with my name, bro. Like... <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mean it that way. I don't mean it that way. I mean like... Like... What? Because you, you just don't prefer to be called Brian. Nah, you know? I mean, I feel like my name is a little burnt out, but <laughs> besides that, is I like being called or whatever I identify myself to, you feel me? Because I believe, in at least in the world and the way the world is going, I believe like you uphold your own identity right. or whatever mm-hmm. brand you seem to represent. You feel me? And even though, like, obviously people going to know you aside from that, like, we went to school together. You feel me? My family would know me for being their cousin or whatever. You feel me? Whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> as far as, like, what I worked for and what I've managed to accomplish just by myself, that's why I p- uphold by the identity that I go by. You feel me? Whether it's Kilo Gems or DG Brian that's dropping Gems Brian. You feel me? Right, right. Whatever that case may be is because I've managed to do a lot with that identity and I want to be known I was having this conversation with Sean actually downstairs it's like I want to be I want to be remembered not because I was a certain person or I was a certain type of way but I want to be remembered by the impact that I had on people and what I've managed to build by saying yo I'm gonna stand on what I believe and I'm gonna stand on that even if the world is against me type shit hmm wow Dude, that Brian, I'm just saying that I, like I want to so say this because even our, our viewers have to know this. Like I told these guys beforehand, before you came here, this is gonna win. this is gonna be one of our best fucking guests yet. Yeah. Brian, you are one of the most well articulated people I've ever met in my life, and I feel like I have to tell you this, bro. You know how to present yourself, and I want to like applaud you for that, bro. I fuck with you. That you, you know, that. you know, you know how to. You know how to fucking explain yourself without even having to be explained. You still give such like a 
a beautiful explanation to things when you speak, bro. That shit is fire. You have a very strong yeah, power bro. with the word. The bro, power of the real. word. I think you should you should definitely read that book we've been talking about, The Four Agreements. The I four think you would like that book. I'm reading The Power of Now right now. Which no is actually fucking bro, Everybody's yeah. reading The Power Everyone's of reading it, bro. I have, bro, I have that book. I, I've been reading it too. It's one of my author. favorite books, bro. Yeah. You guys very know the author's name? Nah, I don't it, know. Eckhart Tolle. Oh, Eckhart yeah. Tolle. Yeah. But yeah, like overall... I fuck with the book, and I had actually said in one of the songs that I wrote, which was, um, pay attention to how you feeling. You feel me? Like, don't don't commit yourself to committing an action that you know is just in the heat of the moment. You feel me? Like, you're always like gonna have, impulse. Yeah, you're always gonna have two battles. You gonna have the one with your heart. You gonna have the one with your mind. You feel me? And it's up to mm. you to to decide what that action is gonna be. You feel me? You can either go like, yo, I'm going to go through the logical, smart way, and I know this person's feeling, and I know I'm going through this certain type of situation, and I'm going to respect that. You feel me? I'm going to respect it because I'm able to understand the patterns and behavior that I've studied off of people. You feel me? Outside from, outside from just being like, yo, I'm going to just act like that because my heart is telling me, yo, you, you fuck with this person, so mm-hmm. just, just be there. You feel me? Like, nah, you got to respect yourself and you got to value your own energy and what you bring to the table, so. I fuck with you, bro. Word. Yeah. <laughs> I already do. I yeah, I got, I, he, he just leaves you in shock. Like, yeah. He, he kind of just <laughs> like. That's what I'm saying. He leaves you in shock every time he speaks. So you I want to. Oh, sorry. I want to ask you guys something. You, ever, you guys ever God. heard of hemi sinking? Yeah. Hemi sinking? Uh, what what the fuck what is, is so that? So a hemi sink is when. Shit, that sounded crazy So So me. check this out. Apparently. The, the I forgot what branch of military is scared of people doing this, but it's basically when your left side of your brain and your right side of your brain sync together, and they get powerful side kicks out of that. People who are able to remote view, able to see the future and shit, their for brains are synced. Who don't know remote yeah, is what is, they have their brains in hemi sync, bro. I'm we, saying for people who don't know. What oh remote no, yeah, is. we we explained it before, but remote viewing is basically viewing a place in the world in the astral form of your body. And able to see that place in time as it is we right have, now, and we have CIA documentation. We have, yes, we have CIA this, documentation right? of them. So this actually is not no it. bullshit. Like, yeah, this is not some conspiracy theory. The CIA has documents on tests, experiments that they've used, fucking psychic people on actual yeah. missions. In right? actual missions, yeah, they were trying to find out fucking what the they were trying to find out what the Russians were doing or some shit, and then the Russians had their own psychics. And they were like going back and forth and shit. You know, wow, what if that's where. The whole like movie spy things. I think that's exactly where it comes from. The movie spy things. What is like that? the whole like, like spies Hollywood and, and spies movies and, and shit. shit. And, like the Cold War and how there were spies. Like there were Soviet spies here who acted as Americans, and there were Americans in Russia. You think there's like a Double correlation between them? Like the you know, psych- remote I mean, viewing, like <laughs> we we know that remote viewing was already a thing. You know? Yeah. They've been studying that for a while too. They have during the Cold War, everything they were observing their missile bases, I believe, or like installments, potential installments. Yeah, and there was this How one Cuba guy who was, was so crazy. good. Could you imagine Cuba would have launched those missiles? Shit, we wouldn't See, be, uh, what we wouldn't be over, here. Bro. We wouldn't be here right now. We, we wouldn't be here yeah. speaking to you yeah, yeah, fucking you fuckers. <laughs> I'm the, my heart goes out to to that situation though. I feel for them and what they're going through. Yeah. You feel me? Like. I, I find it fucked up that people have to struggle and have to go through that, and they're still holding on to that government that's so eager to not want to leave. Communism, and I want to, I want to yeah. show you guys one video, or two part video. I, I just, just bear with me. Trust me, it, it ties uh, perfectly. Oh, did you, you did you, did you, yo, recently? Guess what came out? Hold up, before Is you play it, hold up real quick. Did you know? That what recently came out is that China is paying the Vatican two billion dollars to keep their mouth shut about what they're doing. That's what, crazy. Wait, what are they doing? They're, they're you know crimes against humanity. Yo, China not, or yeah, China. The no. Vat- they were paying the Vatican to be quiet because you know the Vatican is religious and shit. Now know? we hear a little side comment, like just not to tear away too far from the video here about the show us and what y'all just both said. I feel like the world, bro, is getting to a crazy ass point. Like, it is facts. Bro, it all is the, the end all times, the world bro. powers, bro, they going off. Like they Yo, really. Let me tell you something. We really in a war, low key, bro, and it's like people just. It's a war for your mind. Yo, it's a war for your mind, but it's also a war for peace, and that's it's yeah. a cyber war. That's you know why it's a cyber war? Like because they have us trapped in social. Can media. Can I ask y'all this one thing? What's up? And I heard what you just said, but now that you just said that, also is building on that. Y'all think we can have peace without war? Yes. You think so? No. Yeah. You think so? I think I think we can, but we're not. I don't society. think so. I don't. No, 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 no. Right, no, so no. Oh, y'all, let me explain give, first. Give y'all perspectives. Give so y'all perspectives. I, I see. Obviously, you know, 
back then, you know, when humanity and all that stuff, we always fought for our, 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 our land and shit. But I feel as though if we do get to a state, probably millions of years in the future, that we can have peace without war if we reach a certain level of acknowledgement. And Let me tell you why that's wrong. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to stand with us, on this, but I'm going to let him explain it. That's why I think us as a people now, as a collective, why we can't do that anymore. The Egyptians were masters at it. They did it for that's thousands facts. of years, right? But they always had war. Yeah. They always had to fight someone to protect that, right? If you look at America now, we wouldn't have the freedoms if it wasn't for what the fuck is going on in the Middle East and what the fuck is going on in all these communist fucking places. All these crazy, like, you know, like where you see like militias being like taking over the country and shit. Yeah, and people yeah, are yeah, suffering. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't know what peace is. So, right? let me, okay. There has to be a balance, bro. Yeah, there has to be a balance. No matter of course, what you say, it doesn't matter what you say. There's you have your opinions, okay. I'm gonna respect that and I will listen. But there always know. has to be a balance. So check this no out. matter what. Yeah, there yeah, has yeah. to be a negative yeah. for a positive. Well, so what if the negative They both check each other. Yeah, so what if the like, negative Take this lightly, bro. Right. So uh, what if the negative like made the positive indefinite? Like, what if we did have some type of, like, conflict? Um, in yo, you know what I mean? Up, Wait, hold on. I gotta, you got to hear him out, though, because, like... Because, like, look, you we, have, we, two, we you only, have two different perspectives yeah. of, of what you mean by, like, war and peace. And the Wait, different perspective... Wh- which side are you standing on, though? I'm standing I'm standing more towards Josh. I'm going to oh, acknowledge okay. his point. I'm going to acknowledge his point for a second. All right, I'm going to hear y'all. Because, and in fact, like, I'm not even saying, like... Because you have two completely different perspectives, and neither of you know for sure. So, yeah. the middle in between is that... You're standing in different sort of conflicts. Your conflict is that we as a civilization right now, and Josh is looking more forward, more into the future. Into yeah, the future. And into it, the future. Yeah, and it's, it's optimistic as well. Um, but you also have to like frame the question that way because in the optimistic perspective, you can see how you can eliminate war by having a, I don't want to like claim this on anything, but the one world civilization, like in tune with nature. Everything checks each other, but it doesn't mean that everything sure. has to completely die. It can be a balance of not, war and of peace. Not everything got it. I mean, no, but, no, no, no. no. Exactly gonna, what you said. Hold on, hold on, not everything not has to die. Not, not everything has, has to die. To die. But, but that's, you, that's where the positive comes but in. But he just said it. He neither. That, he's neither that's agreeing the check. or disagreeing because he said you yeah, gotta yeah. have a balance. But, but what he's saying, what he's saying is exactly agreeing with what we're saying. Because what you're saying is, what if you're speaking of the check that the that the positive has on the negative? There's gonna be a negative. There's always gonna be death, but then there's always the positive there to check that, to make sure life sustains itself somehow, right? And whenever we look at war, there is peace and chaos. There is positive and negative at both places. Yeah. Why? Because look at us in 2008. Yeah. We were children, right? We grew up with no, I mean, in 2001, there was 9-11. Yeah. But besides that, we were fucking like, what, one years old, a few months old? That was that didn't happen in our. He was like, still in Iraq, though, bro. I'm not gonna right? lie. The wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold, that's what world. I'm getting at. We were at peace here in America, but then there was still war in Iraq, yeah. in Afghanistan, and all of that. It all coincides with each other. If you look at Germany, Germany Ooh, was let me say Germany that. was fucking up all of Europe in the in the World War Two, right? But Germany was at peace. Germany was fucking stabilizing and doing better than it's ever been. Let right? me say something. Let me say something. Uh, take in I'm about to cross the whole lot of shit you feel me the one thing I have learned throughout college and high school was our history that's something that I came to understand and something that I kept repeating is that the unfortunate truth is that we can have we can't have peace without war and and I mean that like as humanity like as long as the human species is alive that won't happen without war. And I would say that it's just because who we are, like just everything that was taught from day one, you feel me? We're taught to hunt for our own food. We're taught to, you feel me, go out there and get it every single time and be, and if that means we got to knock out a whole tribe, then that's exactly what we're going to do in order to take over. And it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying that like it's okay. War, like if, if we could live in that reality, you feel me? It would be nice, but at the end of the day, it's like 
what's a world if everything is good? Like, so check this out. It, it doesn't it's, really doesn't exist, and it ain't really good. Hello, hello. I, I want to I want to say something. I'm not encouraging negative behavior. I want to say viewers, something that goes back saying, to what you general. were saying, right? That it, that kind of clings on to what you were saying, right? Because you said we had two different like views on it, right? I want to kind of put myself in your shoes, right? I feel like right? we come in the middle, though. Like, oh, can I? Can, well, hold on. Let me give this ahead. one little piece. So we. We all know that the this world and this reality consists of probabilities and possibilities. That's a fact. There's definitely a probability and a possibility of living that way of just complete peace. Mm -hmm. You know, there's def it exists. It's there right now as uh, we speak. I disagree. Right? Wait, no, it wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold oh. up. You won't have to. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. You have to look at the world yeah. of okay. possibilities and infinite okay. possibilities. Okay, so, so the way. Yeah, me. Yeah, I'm, the I'm way, learning. The way, the way I've come to learn how time works is that every there's no past or future. There's only the now. The now, and, yeah. And every, that. that means that everything that's happening ever and ever will happen is happening right now. That's the point, right? And so everything that doesn't happen is already still happened, or already happened, or it will happen. Everything is happening at once, and when you vibrate at its at its frequency, right? Then you attach because yourself to it. We have and to pull think about this, closer. right? If you want scientific evidence, you could look at Tesla's oscillator, right? He matched. A, a, a certain machine, right, that had pistons. It was steam powered, right? Okay. It would vibrate the piston at the exact same frequency that electricity, free free flowing electricity, was of uh, uh, vibrating at, right? That frequency. He made the piston vibrate the same exact frequency and managed to create ele uh, electrical charges. And it made yeah. man made lightning, right? Yeah. Bro, if you think about that. So Damn. what I'm trying to say is that. There's a the the the, the probabilities and possibilities. Yes. What you're saying is correct. It, 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 it has exists, to vibrate but, at its frequency. But he, the, I think the bigger notion behind that is that there's a possibility. There's always probability, and the only moment, the only influx moment, is the now. Everything that happened in no, the past, everything that happened in the past, doesn't necessarily dictate what happens in the in, in the now. If you think, if you it think idealistically, it doesn't. It doesn't. And. It doesn't and it does at the same you time. Pee so bad, but this conversation yeah. is so bad. Go ahead. We'll yeah. go ahead. We'll try not to stray away too much from it. Mm -hmm. Um, but what I'm getting at is, at the end of the day, you can't undo history. You feel me? That's like, for obviously, sure. like obviously, like obviously, Absolutely. we living in the now, and just how you said, the future and the history is both tied to the now in one way or another. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like obviously, you you can't untie from it depending on how you look at it. You feel me? But at the end of the day, you're you gotta be able to understand that we are here because of our past choices, even whether yeah. our ancestors wanted it or not. You feel me? That's what ended up turning out. And how, what I'm saying, history repeats itself, and we see it time and time and time again. Hopefully, this time is different. You feel me? Because of how much we evolved as humanity and how much technology has been brought to the world. You feel me? Hopefully, it's for the better. But. At the end of the day, what what I stand on is that without the war, we can't have the peace. Ex exactly, I, I completely agree with you, but I'm also trying to show you that there's also no, no, no. We yeah, come yeah, in the course, middle. Yeah, yeah. I see that perspective. Yeah. I'm not being like okay, blindsided. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. There's or definitely go, but yeah, but yeah, yours like there's more definitely, so we can get a better perspective. There's definitely a future or a now that exists right now where that possibility is already happening. Yeah, and the thing is, is that. This is the this is the beauty of the now, and I this know you've read little, about the book. This, this, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold up, hold up. This this is a little irrelevant, but relevant at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it's like there's a finite amount of there's a finite amount of versions of of the things that have already happened out there before it even happens in this realm. Yeah. You feel me? And just like there is another you in just twenty three universe, uh, your yeah. universe from here. You feel me? Like in a parallel universe. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's so much more of a deeper conversation. Yeah. But it gets the point across. And what I'm saying is like, yeah, that should probably everything we feared, everything we even thought of, have already happened out yeah. there in some type of universe. You feel me? In some type of continual realm. But what I'm getting at, is at least in this one, in the one that we are in. Even though all we have is the now and you got to catch yourself of how I said earlier, mm -hmm. like, is that really how you feeling or is that just how your body wants you to feel? Mm. You feel me? The same way that we could trick our body into thinking it's hot and, and inside the cold and vice versa. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Is what the body is able to adapt to biologically. But overall, just bringing it back full circle is all about how you decide to see it. Yeah. So, so what I was saying, what I was going to say is that that's the beauty of now. 
is that history has already happened. That's a, that's history. Yeah. Right. It is. It's not happening right now. Yeah. The beauty of the now is that we're able and that's we're able to make a choice <laughs> that goes a completely different route. Yeah. You know? So it's the same thing about when reincarnation, what we talked about earlier, is that you forget everything so that you can make different choices to see how it yeah. turns out. That's what I wanted to it's, ask, though. But, like, don't you think that if you can if you can see, if you can be aware of the potential future and you take the decision now, let's say, like, six months, I see myself in six months, and you take the decision now to achieve what it is that you want to achieve, don't you feel like we as a collective, even individually, we have control over where we go into yes, our future? Yes, like, we do. It's like we're, and the thing we're is, is that in a timeline and we create our own little yeah. variant. So the thing is, is that we are, we're, we're kind of not aware of, like, like our choices in that aspect if you know what i mean like trying to make a new branch of whatever is going to happen and that's the, the reason why we're here is because if we were aware of it we couldn't create it you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's like the fact that we are not aware that of these choices is what creates new realities it's just the that's, awareness that's behind a fact it. but how i said we're we're the resistance to society i would say yeah you feel me and not trying to like classify us as anything higher than anybody but i'm yeah. just saying with what we bring to the table and the wisdom we have i feel like you feel me we are the resistance and the people that are willing to unite and stand together and are yeah. willing to speak on how they feel no matter how bad the internet tries to censor them or whatever they try to get out there you got to continue to stand on that that's and facts. i feel like eventually you're able to change the future yeah, if that's facts, bro. That's why we're here, bro. To, to, to started, make those bro. choices, dude. Yeah. The fucking shit, you know, it, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and be like, yo, the, the future is looking valid or whatever, because honestly, I don't know. You don't I don't. Know for sure. How you but, said, oh, we have is the now. We got to appreciate the now while yeah. we have it. Not a lot of people do. Exactly. But the thing is, is that I know that right now I'm right here talking in front of this mic. Yeah. And maybe a few words I say might spark something in someone's head, that's you know, flag. and I see that as that I did something successful. That was a beautiful statement, Josh. Oh, that was one of the most beautiful statements that came out. Yeah. <laughs> that really resonated. And yeah. That sparks how I feel, too. We were talking about that as well. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> so, like, overall, I, I just want everybody to stand on their perspective and what they believe in, you feel me? Don't mm -hmm. let nobody throw them off. Don't let the incident dictate how you move and how you behave. You feel me? Because I feel like that has also has a lot to do with it. Like mm -hmm. people see some people speaking up and they see how they get bashed and they be like, yo, you know what? I'd rather stay quiet because that's too much to deal with. I'd rather yeah. just go with the social norm and that's it. Like, nah, like if you really believe in something, you really want to do something, don't let nobody tell you otherwise and just keep it moving. And you do know, you. Hmm. I've been sitting here since I got back and I've just been listening to what y'all saying, right? We are the modern day free thinkers remember those guys yeah i remember those guys from the 1700s yep. they sounded cool yeah <laughs> cool. <laughs> i definitely yeah i remember that shit <laughs> <laughs> well continue continue what happened what happened it's so crazy because i'm so dead serious all right what happened? i know you like, are with a modern day free thinkers there are people so indoctrinated Yo, into you just think spark some shit. I'm yeah. gonna let you finish though. Go ahead. I thought you they see, were called the Enlightenment. That's exactly thinkers. what I want. The Enlightenment thinkers. That's yeah, what yeah. that's what we're yeah. <laughs> we are in a position where we're being censored any time like with yeah. anything. Yeah. If you say the wrong thing, you're canceled. You cannot project yeah. yourself. Yo, actually, I think it was. Oh no, it was your boy. Freedom is our birthright. I just but yo, remember what he was telling me. But we, yeah. the modern day free thinkers, we're out here speaking. There are people listening right now. Yeah. There are people saying, "Oh, these ghetto dummies," and then there are people saying, "Wow, talk your shit." Yeah. Some intelligence. But we souls. always forget about the right in between. Yeah. In between the gray, in between the fucking. I mean, the gray in between the white and the black. The gray. Those are the people like us. Mm. who take both sides into consideration and make a critical thought. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not just completely biased. Like, we actually try to, like... Like, we're pretty biased people, right? And if you want to talk about today's... Is it that, that, if you want to talk about today's terms, you're vaccinated, I'm unvaccinated, right? And we still come together. That's what I'm saying. Share each other's opinions. 
both we both learn from. I make sure I learn from what he's saying. Yeah, but there's a difference. Because he's the other side. I try to put myself in his shoes. There's a difference. This is what we have to do as a collective, though. Is what I'm trying to get at. Nah, that's a fact. But there's a difference between being biased and being open minded towards a lot of things and. Okay. The society we've right. gone to made a lot of people very close minded mm. and mm. it has terrified them it has terrified them with fears and consumption of the bad news and people getting shot and people dying due to COVID and this and the third and it's like bro, it's hard for people to step away and all learn the things coming back full circle. You know why? I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you why. I want down I wanted, I wanted uh, to show I wanted, a video, right? And I okay. and I then never showed it. People will say was, what you oh, gotta I say forgot. and then I I need it I need to show you gonna, guys this video. I, I was gonna to. tell you is that the reason why people fall into this is because it's under the guise of love. <sighs> oh that's powerful. You. you know what it is, bro? That's is that powerful? It, it, there's it, so many ways that could be interpreted, but go exactly. ahead. Exactly. It it, it so comes to you and it's like, yo, we're, we're here to help you. Please get this so we can all get back to normal. Or please do this yeah. so we can all do this together. And it's our our very essence of being is the love frequency. So yeah. when, we, when we're fed that, we feed off that shit like it's fucking the best meal you've ever right. ate. Wow. So it's hard to Hold step up, out of I that. Can I say something? What's up? You, you just said some shit. It's hard to step away from that. But there's a difference between like being disciplined enough to walk away from that and, That's un- what and, I was and get understanding into. that one interaction or that one frequency that you thought was love was just a placebo That's effect. That's what I was going to say. You feel me? And not a lot of people are able to interpret that and understand that. Mm-hmm. But if you know you just stepped away from that frequency, you got to understand I, I that. I disagree with what you just said. I feel like everybody's able to interpret that. No. We are beings of pure love, right? No matter what. I agree. You, wait, no matter what you say, even if you're a negative person. Everything, every emotion, every personality yeah. derives from love. If it's, you got too much love, you have love, or you there's a lack of love, right? Yeah. With that being said, I need to show you that. I need to show y'all this video. Damn. This is crazy. I bet I was going to say something, but I'll just let you. Where? This is watch the this guy. video first. That's the guy. All right. Okay. He's a homeless guy. You see him? Yeah. yeah. He's homeless. Right? Actually, I think okay. Oh, no, Listen I to what this guy is saying. Actually, I have seen that video. Yep. Before you say, before you I say what he's saying, that, I get, do you understand what he's saying? I get the point he's trying to get. Everybody's across. just trying to d- divide. There's always another thing. So without co- without I capitalism, without with capitalism, without socialism, you got communism. And, and it's fucked up to say that because there's people in other in other countries going through those different systems. But at the end of the day, without it, we wouldn't be here. We that's wouldn't have the freedom at. to that's say what, what he's what getting at. Right what now. he's getting at is the 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 fracture in the balance. Would they make us believe divide and conquer, right? So we need capitalism with com- with socialism, right? In order to make a greater society. What that means is you're still caring for the people, right? But people are still making money. People can still live for themselves, right? Without any of those, you have fascism or communism. Yeah. 
they don't want us to have both. And that's when we have peace, we have both. But that's the thing. There's never. If you peace, think about bro. it, if you think about it, there's never peace, right? Because there's never peace. There can, there's there can never, on, there can never be just peace. Yeah, exactly. There has to be the negative balancing it out. But when there is the on the peace side, right? Yeah. There's always, if you think about it, there's capitalism or socialism. Why? Because they're thinking about the people, and people are still making money. Yeah. You understand? That's a fact. That is fact. That's the that's that's where the negative comes in when one of them is taken out of place. I mean, at the end of the day, we pay the price for but, the things we're living through, bro. I'm I'm not gonna lie, like yo, salute to every, yes, that salute. ass. Every oh my shit done, bro. Yeah. I open up what? Hold on, hold on, yo, get that. Open that angry motherfucker about, right there. Shit, what is, is your only angry motherfucker? Oh, you want a Hennig? Oh nah, let me get that Hennig. What the fuck is your problem? This, going this down dude, smoke, this nigga yeah. said. I don't, mine is empty. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the I'm fuck you thought this I'm was? No. This is the Mind's Eye podcast. <laughs> this, is, this is drunk talk with the Mind's Eye. Yeah. Oh, right? shit. So, you're getting, you're getting drunk every fucking fuck second. I'm going to cheer to that, and I appreciate you guys having me on here. I'm not going to lie. Course. Like, it's been a pleasure. It's been a hell of a thing. Yeah, been man. You've yeah, been of course, so much bro. knowledge, bro. We've had a great conversation, and I'm grateful to be up here every single time. You feel me? And yeah. I appreciate what you guys Yo. doing. And y'all gotta continue to push this shit forward. I'm not gonna lie, like That's fine. y'all gotta continue to talk y'all shit. Y'all gotta continue to give y'all perspectives, and you feel me? Don't let nobody stop y'all shit and stop y'all grind. Keep moving every single and every fine. single step thank of the you. time. Thank you, bro. I have, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. And I want to say one more thing before we end off on this note: is that we have our concepts as humans and stuff. We have all our thoughts about war, peace, love, hate, all that stuff. But in reality, when you really get down to it, we don't know fucking nothing. Oh, fuck. We don't know nothing, bro. We don't know nothing, but something I could say is that we do know how to spread love. That's the one That's thing I love. Yeah, we do. That's the one thing that makes love. The New York way. We don't, we don't know, know. something out of nothing. We don't know nothing, and you know what? Something crazy can happen that can change the course of our race for That's the a fact. time to come. We're, 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 time. we're very time. small compared to like what the world and the universe is really is. Exactly. Yeah. But we're small, but we're intelligent. And even if we don't get to accomplish everything we want to, someone else will. And they will. Going. it's going to be thanks to our ideas, you feel me? And yep. our future people wow. that we surround ourselves with. Let's keep on going. And keep with that being pushing. said, thank you for tuning into thank the Mind's you. Eye. Thank you guys for tuning in. We come out with content. We come out with content every week. Your please. Mind's Eye Open podcast your third eye. We come out with content every week. Open please make sure to turn in, in, tune in, and subscribe. A whole bunch of- That's a lot of damage. What the f***?